Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Uh, welcome to Yahweh's Shabbat. We are the keepers of the house of life. My name is Yehuda Ben Israel. And starting, uh, beginning to my left, Uriah Ben Israel. Mikael Ben Israel. Obadiah Ben Israel. Praise Yah, praise Yah. Uh, the keepers of the house of life are dedicated to spreading the righteousness, love, mercy, and forgiveness of our Father, Yahweh Elohim of hosts, by and through his son, Yahshua the Messiah, or some may say Yahshua HaMashiach, the Lamb of Yahweh, the King of Israel, the High Priest, and our Redeemer and Savior, whose name be blessed forever. We are here to teach and proclaim, to teach and to proclaim the gospel of Yahshua, who magnifies the law of Yahweh. And today's class is entitled Father Abraham, Part 2. Again, today's class is entitled Father Abraham. And I'm going to take this moment to welcome back our brother uh, Mikael uh, Ben Israel. Praise God. Uh, praise praise God, brother. Praise we're praise glad to have yeah. you back. And um, good to see you. Uh, strong and healthy. Mm. And, um, and so praise God for you. But again, I'm going to just get that brother a little dab there, man. Because you know, we're strong together through grace of Yahweh. He's looking clean over here. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, he's strong. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go. Yeah, man. <laughs> Clean, yeah. uh, clean cut. Yeah, I'm trying to preserve this little, you know, the little youth I still got. Oh, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> young, young, strong man. Young, strong man. Hallelujah for that. But again, um, before we uh, delve into our Sabbath, our Sabbath class discussion today, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Brother Elder Uriah Ben Israel and um, for some readings from these holy words. Thank you, my elder. First, we want to um, begin um, reading the Shema um, in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 and 5. Verse 4, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh, our Elohim, is one other name, and thou shalt love Yahweh, thy Elohim, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, and with all the mind. Praise God. And this we call the Shema. And I know you may be wondering why we read the Shema every day. First of all, the word Shema just means here, listen. <clears throat> and it's listen to the words. Not only listen, but you need to obey the words of, uh, of the Most High Yahweh. That's right. Okay. That's it. Um, and we should, you know, recite. It's just a recitement of these words each and every day. To, so we can acknowledge uh, and do Yahweh's word, to walk in them, you know, to teach them, to uh, execute them. And so Yahweh can have mercy on us. Then we're going to be turning to Matthew chapter 22. We're going to be reading verses um, 34 through 40. Matthew 22, verse, verses 22. Where's Matthew? Yeah, that's where it was last Shabbat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so God, God, word changes, man. No, man, praise God, man. I have the same problem, man. <laughs> so you remind me on something. You're like, wait a minute. Where am I? I know. I know. Praise God, bro. I don't know. I'm going to pick it up on verse 34. So we're in chapter, Matthew chapter 22. Yeah, verse 34. I'm going to take it all the way to Verse 40. Okay. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempted him and saying, Master, which is a great commandment in the law? Yeshua said unto him, Thou shalt love the other name thy Elohim, or love Yahweh thy Elohim, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. 
Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise God. He just recited that Shema. Yeah. And expanded on it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Praise you. Praise you. Praise you. Praise you. There, there it is, my brother. He magnified. That's that's how the Son of Man, Yahshua, Son of Elohim. Yeah, praise you for that. Magnifies it. Praise you. Praise you for that. Mm -hmm. so and, that led it to the Spirit. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we're going to turn over our book also to Matthew chapter 20, I mean 18, verse 20. And this authorizes us in keeping. Um, this body, you know, to serve most most high and also to teach the word of the most high. We thank the most high for, for doing that Praise to this God. body, you know, the keepers of the house of life. Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. For where there are two or three gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Mm, Praise God for that. Yeah. Praise God. Where two or three are gathered. Together, y'all wait on me, the army mm -hmm. of men and women mm -hmm. to do what he needs to do. That should make us very humble. Mm -hmm. We ought to be sober when you hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, praise Yahweh for you know his kindness, his love, and everything that is given unto us. Then we're gonna move on to um, Isaiah 58. We're gonna be reading verse 13 and verse uh, 14. And this is how we should keep the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the, from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of Yahweh honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in Yahweh, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mount of Yahweh has spoken it. And we do need to keep all these words, you know, seriously. You know, not to play with it. And uh, knowing that we have six days to do our own thing, but on the Shabbat, we have to turn all our focuses to the Most High Yah. That's right. You have to be diligent in our work and in our ways to do that. To refrain from doing our own thing. And, um, you know, that could involve a, a, a whole bunch of things. Mm -hmm. You know, going out there partying. Mm -hmm. You're going out there drinking. You know, just wait until after the Shabbat and you do your own thing. This day was set aside mm -hmm. for us for us to be, uh, to keep Yahweh laws, statutes, and judgment. There's only one day. Well, you know, Elder, Elder Uriah, mm -hmm. um, our fathers, they were seeing Yahweh's, Yahweh's Shabbat mm -hmm. as a birth. They couldn't wait, mm -hmm. many of them, not all, but as the scriptures re re revealed to us, that many of them, let's get back to selling and buying and doing mm -hmm. our own thing. Mm -hmm. let's, hurry this, let's hurry this Sabbath on so we can go back to making money and or doing our own thing. Mm -hmm. yep. So I think that's powerful mm -hmm. because he, 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 when you look at that, he's saying, stop doing your stuff, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Your pleasure, mm -hmm. your ways, um, speaking your own words. Mm -hmm. So today we're supposed to be speaking the words from Yahweh, that's right. from the scriptures and the gospels and the epistles and the book and, the, and that of Revelation. Mm -hmm. We'll be speaking those things, you know, we don't, but they say, your opinion is irrelevant on that way you should Unless it's moved, unless you're being moved by that spirit, mm -hmm. we can find what you've been moved on. We can look and see these words. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. who, cares about, who cares about my opinion? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can focus on my opinion at sundown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But right now, y'all will get that glory. So, brother, thank you uh, for, for, for commenting and uh, laying that out. Um, from the Shema through, uh, through the Gospels and Matthew, and, and, and wrapping that up with the book of in the book of Isaiah uh, about the sanctity and the holiness of Yahweh's Sabbath, because verse fourteen says there's a blessing in that. Yeah, that was that was that's all verse fourteen says. Yeah, if you if you delight yourself, you shall be happy. Yeah, 
in the word of Yahweh. Some time ago, Mick, we were early on our first Sabbath. How are you going to come into Yahweh's Sabbath angry, man? Yeah. yeah. Like you created a Sabbath, yeah. Yeah. And particularly coming into a sanctuary or coming into a body like this, well, you just, you may as well just stay at home. If you're, if you're not going to, you're going to let that spirit ride you. Because this morning myself, I had a little conflict. Mm -hmm. the, the enemy doesn't stop his work, mm -hmm. right? Mm. On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath, but we have to resist him, really resist him on Yahweh's Sabbath. This is the thing: there's a cause and effect. So you see people coming to a to a to a sanctuary or a body, and they're on edge. They're walking on eggshells, not because of the, the holiness of the or the sanctification of the of the of the of, of the time and what we're dealing okay. with, mm -hmm. but because of the fact that there's a cause, obviously, right. why the people are on edge. Right. So why are they coming to this, the Shabbat vex? Why are the spirits being vexed? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, yeah. that's interesting. Okay. Because that's a good that's a good point of view. Mm -hmm. Because you know you shouldn't be on ed, uh, on on uh, on edge on Yahweh's Sabbath. Mm -hmm. You know, and we got to be careful how we handle Yahweh's. Like the brother just said, you got to mm -hmm. be happy. Uh, we got to be careful. Yeah. Um, because we're Yahweh's people. You know, we got to be very careful how you deal with Yahweh's people. Indeed. He's taking notes. Mm -hmm. So um, praise y'all for the day. But you know, you know, praise that. We can't praise y'all well enough for this day. You know, you know what, my elder. You know, with what you're saying, you know, it, it brings me to a verse in Isaiah, Isaiah 24, mm -hmm. verse of five. I would love to read it if you don't mind. Go ahead, bro. Praise God. Let me wait until you know, Isaiah you chapter 24. 24. Yeah, verse yeah. five. Okay. He said, um, the earth also is defiled, honor the inhabitants thereof, mm -hmm. because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Mm -hmm. That's right, brother. So if we continue to defile the everlasting covenant, mm -hmm. we're in big, we're in big trouble, man. Mm -hmm. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I mean, that's that's clear. Mm -hmm. You know, transgress the laws, change the ordinance. Oh, we can we can we can worship uh any day of the week. Mm. Well, you can't worship the God of Israel mm -hmm. on any day of week. Right. On any day of the week, you're right. Mm -hmm. But you're not worshiping the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. You're worshiping another God. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. So, so as to our the true and living Elohim, mm -hmm. uh, when you and, and, and if you're reading in Isaiah 24, when you just took this verse five, it was just showing you. Read verse six. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen? There's a, there's, a, there's a consequence, Brother Obadiah, to breaking the everlasting covenant of humanity. And what does it say in verse 6, brother? Mm -hmm. Let me pick it up on now. Um, yeah. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that hasn't happened yet. Mm -hmm. right. So that's something to come. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause and effect. A cause and effect, man. You right. got that right. A cause and effect. Mm -hmm. You see, so, mm -hmm. oh, Yahweh love me. Yeah, Yahweh is love. But which one of us on the, at the, around this table are going to say we have unconditional love for children and any mm -hmm. other person mm -hmm. when they clearly in your face break your commandments or your dictates the things that you have set up in your house. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you love them, but there's going to be a what? As you said earlier, mm. a judgment. There's going to be a consequence by the father and, or mother if there's if they're not a father at all. There's going to be a consequence. There's going to be a judgment. Mm -hmm. So why do we think Yahweh is going to let us, as His children, His creation, run rampant forever mm. in sin, do whatever? That's a uh, that's like fattening them for the kid. Oh, you know, because they think they, 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 it says because judgment is not executed speedily. Mm. The sons of men, they, their heart wax works, paraphrasing. Yes. Exactly. So if he just, just killed us dead, mm. we would say, okay, you know, yeah, we straighten up quick. We'll straighten up quick, yeah, because you, you see, and John just got knocked out next to you. Right. But that goes, that's harping us back that's, to. So he's patient. Uh, okay. oh, that harkens us back to, I don't know. That, that harkens us back to Adam and Eve when we just discussed that. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we went over that. They broke the law. They had one law. Mm -hmm. The key, right? They transgressed. I got it, brother. Yeah, we're fine. Well, I, they transgressed the law. Yeah. But the, the law said the day that you eat of that fruit, thank you so much. 
But then, you know, you should surely die. Mm -hmm. The tempter came in, that serpent, and said, no, you're, he told Eve, you're not surely going to die. Mm -hmm. But well, they both transgressed, mm -hmm. but they didn't fall out dead. But guess what? They did die. And as a result, you and I, we are all subject to die. Hmm. That's why death is in the earth, by one man's transgression. Mm -hmm. But death, where's that stain? Praise Yah for his son, mm -hmm. Yahshua HaMashiach. He already don't straighten it out. But we have to uh, understand, Yahweh is serious. He means what he says. He says what he means. Papa, don't take no mess. Don't take no mess. <laughs> See, we can say something. To, you know, we got our limited mm -hmm. spirit as men, you know, over our families, our children. Right. And, but at the end of the day, uh, Yahweh got all power. Mm -hmm. So praise y'all for that, brother. But you, you can see how much you can get out of just reading Isaiah 58, mm -hmm. thir verses 13 and 14 that the elder uh, Uriah just read uh, for us. But this this book is it's a book of wisdom. It's a book of, it's a spiritual, it's all spirit. But so that just segues us back to where we are today. Uh, today's class is entitled Father Abraham Part Two. And those of those of the audience, viewing audience, know last week we uh, covered chapters 12, 13, and 14. We see that where we cover where Brother Father Abraham was called out of the land of Ur of the Chaldees mm -hmm. by Yahweh himself, mm -hmm. right? right? So uh, just as we do, we want to have a, a opportunity to recap. Now, we definitely urge you to watch the class, the Sabbath class discussion from last week. Mm -hmm. But uh, just for uh, just clarity or any things on the brothers' minds, uh, let's cover some things. If we want to recap some things before we jump into today's class and we're going to start at Genesis chapter 15 for today's class of Father Abraham part 2 but anybody want to have anything they want to talk about from chapters 12 13 and 14 or earlier I mean only thing, the that, only thing that stands out to me and it's kind of it might be getting a little ahead but um, when you read chapter 12 he didn't call lots right but when you go to 18 you see the love that Abraham had for Lot when he's mm -hmm. pleading for Lot. Right. You know and saying he didn't think about just himself. Right. You know what I'm saying? He reached back, like, you know, he pleaded with him, pleaded with him, and then, you know, yeah, yeah, that's that, that's the only thing that stands out um, in 12 far as the recap. Well, that's a good point, Brother Mikael, because uh, we touched based on some of that last week, not with that point you brought, but it is love. That's his, that's his kinsman, that's his brother's son. Because mm -hmm. when it says, um, when you look at uh, 12, read, read verse chapter 12, verse 4, uh, Brother Mick. And I think that kind of adds to what you were saying. All I right. Think. Genesis chapter 12, verse 4. So I, Abram departed as Yahweh had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And I, Abram was 70 and 5 years old when he departed out of. Right. So that's that's right there. Uh, he lot went with him. We we talked about last week and, and, and Uriah. I hope you can jump in. How if you read that? Because in verses one through three, Yahweh's making a promise. What he's going to do? He said, "I'm going to do all these different things. I'm going to mm -hmm. you have to leave your kin people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you from among among them. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you a land." Mm -hmm. And we talked about what did was Abraham being disobedient. By allowing Lot to come with him, mm. was he breaking Yahweh's law? Uh, you know, it was all Yah's will. It was all it Yah's will. Yeah, yeah. It was Yah's will because you know the way when you read it, uh, there there is going to be a separation, mm -hmm. but it's according to Yahweh's time. See, I think you, you, we can see something. Mm -hmm. We we're in that judgmental position. See, even Abraham was disobedient. Mm -hmm. Just, what does Yahweh say he was disobedient? At? It's fine. Mm -hmm. Somebody point to that. I mean, actually, Abraham is kind of the kind of the standard because um, I mean, Yahweh called him his friend, and he said, "I know he will govern his household." Now, this is Yahweh saying, "No, I know he's gonna do what he's supposed to do." Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, 
that kind of defined what a friend is because look what he did for Lot. He reached back. Exactly. You know, let's keep it real. Like, like um, Abraham is our forefather, right? He reached back for Lot. How many Hebrew Israelites today would do that? Would, 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 do you really think all of them have that love to reach mm -hmm. out for themselves or would Probably they just worry about themselves? You know, I think, and that's a that's a serious question. It's a rhetorical question because you believe in our forefather Abraham, but are you willing to do what Abraham? Are you going to do what Abraham did? Yeah. Uh, when this thing, matter of fact, we can see what Abraham did uh, in chapter fourteen. I think we, but since you brought it up, I think it's a good segue because uh, it says when uh, in the war of the with the slaughter of the kings, and, mm -hmm. uh, the the towns were taken and, and Lot was taken up, right? But what 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 did Abraham do uh, when he Abram do uh, when he heard that? Uh, you see, go to verse fourteen, mm -hmm. uh, uh, chapter Genesis fourteen, verse fourteen, and we talked about that. Mm -hmm. You know, Abraham was a rich man, mm -hmm. and he had uh, built himself up. This is what now. This is what a brother does. Read that. Okay. Verse, talk, just just read until you read. Yeah, read fourteen and fifteen. Okay. Genesis chapter fourteen, verse fourteen. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. He mounted up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They strapped up. They ready. <laughs> they strapped up. They ready. Verse, verse 15. Yeah. Handle this business. Yeah. Right. Verse 15. And he divided himself against them, he and his servants, by night, and smote them, and pursued them unto Obah, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And, oh, you want to continue? Yeah, 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 read 16, I'm sorry. And he brought back all the goods and also brought again his brother Lot and his goods and the woman also and the people. Hmm. Right. So <laughs> he reached back. He went, he, he, but they had captured the whole town. Right. Of, uh, you know, that in those days, that's what people would do. Yeah. That's why towns and civilization expanded. So the pe people have protection. Now, we can say what we want to about the United States, but you're under the sovereignty and protection of the most powerful country in the world. Absolutely. Ain't nobody just going to uh, invade the United States without having a serious uh, consequences and, um, unless Yahweh allows it. So in this time, Abram had a house. He had he had the resources. Mm -hmm. He had been able to protect himself. Mm -hmm. See, and he, right, he reached back. Not only did he reach back, he put his life on the line. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my brother. That's his brother. He considered that not only his brother's son, that's my nephew, no, that's my blood. Because mm -hmm. when they because when they separated, he told them. They discussed it. Hey, we're brothers. We're kindred. Let's mm -hmm. don't get in no fight. Mm -hmm. Let's let's let, let's. Oh, you want this? You go that left. You, if you want the land to the left, I take it to the right. Correct. Mm -hmm. So I think that's you know we, we have to consider that. But but go ahead, brother. I don't want to. That's a good point. Oh no, I just man, just um, what what, what I caught in verse sixteen, it it, it kind of you you can compare it to the times. That we are in the day, and 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 I'll kind of explain what I mean by that. That verse six, let me read it again. And he brought back all his goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, which we talked about. Mm -hmm. He reached back and showed love, and, and that's why I kind of give a little bit when we continue yeah, to say, and his goods, and the woman also, the women, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> the the women also. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, and the people, right? yeah, and the people, but but the woman stood out because. Like we we know what's going on with social media. It's a spirit. Like brothers just hate sisters. It, it, it ain't a Hebrew is like thing. It's just and then to read this and see like look at the spirit that he had also. You know he 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 could have been what chauvinistic or just no no we we were just worrying about the men. But nah, he he reached back and got goods, the women, and the people. So that's true love because true love doesn't have like oh no I'm gonna do this but I ain't gonna do that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know. But you know that shows the character they. Like. Well, you know, yeah. that's that's yeah. the character. Go ahead, brother Obi. I was agreeing. Yeah. That, that that's that's important. I was watching a documentary uh, last night, uh, yesterday, yeah, yesterday evening, about um, the, it's entitled "The Burning of Tulsa," of how uh, the, mm -hmm. the race riot mm -hmm. uh, of how they burned Tulsa down, and, and I think I talked, I called you about it, and yeah, I was just so that. excited. Uh, I was just we talked about the same, we spoke about the same thing that you about women. But Isa B, I think her name is Ida B. Wells, and one of the things, and she was a strong sister, and she said, everybody, every black family need to have this particular rifle in their home to mm -hmm. defend themselves. And what she was saying, it's not about these alleged rapes, but she was saying of white women that they're 
avenging and doing all this horrible things against black people. It was, that's, that's, not, that's not it. It is out of jealousy of the economic prosperity of black people. Mm. But I, Ida B. Wells, to me, look at our women, our mothers and our aunts and all the women going eight, like Ida B. Wells back in the 1800s uh, uh, after slavery. But those, they, like we, we talk, these are the women that are going to die. Yep. They fought. They fought right beside mm. our, yeah. our, our, us. Our, our husband. My, many a times they were too scared, but they had a good woman with them. Yeah, yeah. that's right. He said, "We're going to stand up today. We're right. going to die together. We're going right. to die together. They're not going to just do us this way." Mm -hmm. So it's sad that we we have so many um, issues in the family uh, of so-called black people. Black using that term, black people. Uh, that we're, we've turned against our women and the women have turned mm -hmm. against the men. But these are these curses mm -hmm. that are on our people. No other people do this. But we don't have no excuse. Yeah, we don't. So we're talking about the people who know who they are. Yeah. Now we know those who don't know. The, 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 the Hebrews, the Israelites, know. right. Yeah. Who they are. That's right. And, and, no, I want you to finish. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah just, it, 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 it baffles me. I've never seen a, a culture of people hate their women. What nation ever hated their women? And for like, I, I mean, you need your women. The nations <laughs> see that and they absorb your women among them. Right. So mm -hmm. how do you not see the, 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 the value of your women? Like, yeah, that's a curse. That's a curse. <laughs> We've been in captivity yeah. too long. Well, go ahead, brother. Uh, Nick, you were going to say something. Oh, no. I was, yeah, I, man, I think I lost a thought, but I picked up another thought. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, you can see, like, it's just, first of all, like, and, 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 and I can only talk about Hebrew Israelites because that's that's who we are, and I've seen them come together. First of all, first and foremost, some phone folks just don't know how to talk to folks. You know what I'm saying? Right, talk right. to talk to talk to a man or woman the same way you would want to be talked to. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk to somebody, but then you can't take what you dish out. Now, now, verse 13, and, 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 and I wanted to read this, um, Genesis chapter 12, verse 13. Mm -hmm. And then this is like, like, let me read this. Um, this and, and, and this is, hey, Abraham, he's pleading to his wife, like, hey, you know, say you're my sister. So um, Genesis chapter 12, verse 13. Say, I pray thee. Now, look how he approached his wife. Now, he's the head, but I, he said, say, I pray thee, thou art my sister, that it, that it may be well with me for thy sake, and my soul shall live because of thee. Now that's when, like like the reason I went to because I was reading this this week, and that's like poetry. Like she gonna say, "I got you," there you know what I'm saying? Right. I, I I got you. I got you. That, that's it. Say no more. Say less. Right. Now if you come now 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 if Abraham didn't have the character he had, and and you you could just picture you could just take any individual that you could think of that that has no communication skill. Man, that's just to be like, nah, uh, -uh nah. Now I'll save myself. That's that's the case. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that's fair. I'll say I'm trying to get mistreated yeah. me anyway. anyway. I wanted to leave anyway. Yeah. So I'm this is like, I'm gonna yeah. be in Pharaoh's house. And and, and, and it's right. just and it's just yeah. humbling yourself, man. Cause it's like it's weak. Like yeah. I'm the type. If you wanna have the same if if, if if you're gonna carry yourself with a certain energy. Mm -hmm. Like I'm the type, you like in my eyes, you make sure you don't tuck that energy in. Keep that energy for everybody. Don't wait till you get to the chair again, and then oh nah, you humble now nah, nah. So when you talk, <laughs> right, so when you right. talk to your, to our sisters, and, and of course, when when it comes to relationships, marriage, that's different. You, that's somebody else. But when the, the way we 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 bashing our sisters on social media, like you're weak, you bash your own women. They're weak. So why, like, pick, bash on somebody where you think you're gonna get that same energy back? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the the coward mentality, because again, I think what the brother is saying. We've been in this captivity. No, you know what? I, I, and I can't say the captivity. This is a new phenomenon. Oh, man, we've been lost. Yeah, this is a new phenomenon. We're not. We don't know the uh, the story of. Uh, I don't know. The, I don't know the field of the whip. I don't know anything about bondage like that, like our forefathers. But what I tell you yesterday, you right. I said we're actually living. This is one of the best periods uh -oh. of. of being a black, so-called black American or so-called yeah. black, because when you go backward in this captivity time, yeah. oh man, we were having all kinds of problems. Now you can, yeah. we got, yeah, uh, yeah. oh, you got to get the teeth. Oh, uh, the richest slaves. Yeah, yeah, we're the richest so-called slaves in the world. 
a captain. Yeah, yeah. So you got billionaires, we got middle class, upper middle class. So I think what we're saying here, we're looking at, uh, just to come back around mm -hmm. on this recap that the brother brought up about uh, in chapter 12, you know, going back, uh, looking out for our loved ones, looking mm -hmm. out for our family members, mm -hmm. uh, and those of the extended family. Mm -hmm. Many of us have extended families that are closer than our biological blood ties. That's right. So we, we need to reach back uh, and, and consider consider mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. Because Abram is being called for a very important purpose mm -hmm. to develop. Yahweh's building a nation with him. That's right. He's gonna with that one man, he's gonna build a nation. Mm -hmm. And you see the character in him. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, so with that, I'm going to just continue to, oh, uh, I'll, I'll let Mick come back. I want to make sure we can continue to recap with that. Those are some, I don't want to bring it to a close, but I think that you can hit on so many points, reaching back. Mm -hmm. How do you speak, speaking and showing love to your, uh, to your woman, to your wife, to women, and not, you know, and not tolerating that kind of talk. Mm. Because here at the Keepers of the House of Light, we're not putting on a script. This is not a, we're not putting on a show, mm -hmm. but we're just being honest as the Spirit has given us. So I want to open it back up. Uh, when Mick comes back, we can, uh, uh, if, we, if you have any other issues, uh, anyone else wants to cover any, recap anything that we read out of chapter 12, Genesis chapter 12, mm -hmm. uh, 13 and 14 from last week. But just on um, what I was touching on, um, because we can't say, um, and, and of course, I, I, I mean, I know some sometimes they come off like I'm, I'm perfect now, but it's like you, you should at least try. Like, like you mentioned something earlier about unconditional love. Right. There's no such thing as unconditional love. Mm -hmm. So you mean I'm gonna love you? No, like, like I, I, I wanted to read this real quick, and, and you don't have to go there. Well, we want we'll to read, read about love, and this is First Corinthians thirteen, start of verse four. Okay, give our uh, viewers the opportunity to get there. What is it again? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and I'm going to start at verse 4. Okay. I'll go with you. And, 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 and I'm going here because I'm like, I believe there's no such thing as unconditional. I don't believe like everybody has a tolerance level. You're not going to continue. Like, first of all, well, well let's keep it on the base. Like, uh, Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel is not going to love you no matter what. Like you, you know what I'm saying? There's no unconditional love. Like it's just like a son. Like you're going to continue to be disobedient. I'm going to continue to love you at the chastise. Like, 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 like our God don't work like that. But, but let's look at love. Cause especially among the Hebrew Israelite community, they throw that word around. So let's, let's start first Corinthians chapter 13, verse four. Love suffers long and is kind. Love envy it not. Love vaulted not itself, it not puff up. Did not behave itself unseemly. Seem not her own, is not easily provoked, thinking no evil. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. So love rejoices in the truth. Go yes. Great job. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hope all things, endureth all things. Love never fails, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Mm -hmm. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Mm -hmm. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. That's right. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Mm -hmm. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abide it faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. So when you display how you feel amongst our sister, like that's hate. It's either love or hate. Ain't it? It, there, there's no middle. So you can't be in the truth and like, I understand correction. But people have to know, like the Mashiach said, um, be what wise as serpents mm -hmm. and gentle as doves. Like, 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 you know, I, I once I was in the world, and I know if you'd have brought me, if, if, you, if you'd have brought me, if, if this truth was bringing to me, like, like with a with a strong hand, I'm gonna come out swinging. 
even if I don't know, because it's like it's it's an it's not supposed to be an attack. Mm-hmm. I mean, you 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 bring in Yahweh's it's word. It's supposed to be easily entreated. <laughs> it's supposed to be, you know, but it's not entreatable. It's, entreatable. Right. Yeah, but it's like it's like what's the what's the end goal? It's not about love. Then it's you know how can you just how can you not love someone? You see, but you know what I'm saying? That don't make sense. Like you 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 don't love your brother you can see, but you love Yahweh that you can't see. See. And I think that's the what we just read in the Shema and then we read in, in, in Matthew twenty two. And Yahshua said you gotta love love Yahweh and as he said with all your heart, your mind, your being, it's the Shema. But it is but love your neighbor like you love yourself. Mm-hmm. Now, that's a hell of a statement. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But yeah. then you say Yahweh, Yahshua, mm-hmm. he, he made Yahweh's law be magnified in Isaiah 42. That's right. He, he said this Mashiach, this anointed, will, that's what he's referring to mm-hmm. in Isaiah 42. He will magnify the law and make it righteous. That's right. So he has magnified the law. He said, that's a that's a term, it's a very high standard to mm-hmm. love your neighbor as yourself. Mm-hmm. It's easy to love your neighbor. Who is my neighbor? That's the first question that you want to quantify. You find it now. Qualify that, yeah, that yeah, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I don't trying to choose. Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. I don't want to love them. Yeah, yeah. He's not my yeah. neighbor. Yeah, you already yeah. clarified it. Go ahead, my brother. When he gave him the power. See, of the oh, Samaritans. Yeah. Good, of that yeah. seed. And, and that is, you know, what we're, what we're, what, and that is what we we, we have to look at. Mm. What does what does Yahshua yeah, say? Yeah, right. That's the you know what that's is the, the standard. That's the standard. That, that's the standard for brother. love. But he's he, fulfilling he, them. He, he, he fulfills it, and you can't get away from that. That's right. And you can back in. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, you know what, hey, brother, brother, brother? You know, that, that's to back up a little bit. Uh, I think we use our word loosely. Okay. Mm. And don't know, don't know what um, don't know the meaning of that word. Wow. Yes, sir. Uh, and um, until when we all start keeping the commandments, mm. then we will know exactly what the meaning of love is. Mm. Then we can show what love to, to our neighbors. Yeah. See, and I think that's, well, you know, that's true. I mean, yeah, that's true. Right. There's certain love, there's romantic love, mm-hmm. there's love one has for his wife, romantic love. But then it's that love in that marriage is a commitment. Mm-hmm. It's a promise. It's that yeah. covenant, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, love for your children, you know? Uh, love for other humanity. Because you want to see other people mm-hmm. prosper. You know, if, 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 if a brother's homeless, let's talk about that. What about the, those of us who are uh, less fortunate? Mm-hmm. Anybody want to uh, just talk about that love? Is that, that the same kind of love? Mm-hmm. Well, well, you kind of asked when you said, um, when Michelle said, you treat others as you would want to be treated. So if you was homeless, how would you want people to treat you if you was homeless? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just it's, it's just simple, like do others and others as you was want done to you. But even when you were talking about magnifying the law, like when you think about it, like, like, like he magnified the law and, and, and it seems clear, it, it, it looks, it, it, it's clear to me now, like, right. hey man, if you wouldn't, if, if, hey man, I know you. Hey man, if you ain't gonna sleep with my wife, don't even look at her like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, you always see it in the heart, but if you had that real conversation, now it would make sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey man, don't think about my house like, you know what I'm saying? It's That's covered. You know, it goes back to, I remember, I remember in school, they would talk about, uh, they would say, the golden rule. That's mm-hmm. right. Right? The golden rule. All we, nations yeah, we were talking the standard was the right. golden rule. Do unto others as you would yeah. have them do unto you. Yeah. Yeah. But Yahweh already established that. Mm. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's I mean, they they, they summarized it in a, but it's the same word. I mean, love your neighbor, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Treat a man the way you want to treat. Mm. It, it, it's so simple. You don't have to like someone to love them. Mm. Yeah. You know, you know like, he didn't say like thy neighbor. Yeah, he said love. You know, but they go above and beyond. Why would you like yeah. I mean, you know, well yeah, yeah. you understand it's more involved with that but well, I think that's it is more involved because sometimes our neighbors can be very difficult yeah, yeah, they to don't. like, much less to love. <laughs> some folks don't want to be loved. Like yeah. it's just like, and I'm sorry to cut you off. That like some folks you want to love them, but it's like, mm-hmm. like I'm, like like um, you're gonna drain me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like like me over talk sometimes. He's like, man, some folks you go you go to their house, you come up feeling worse than you came in. <laughs> They're gonna drain all the power from you. 
Like you go right, home, right. just give your wife and kids the, the best you got. Like they don't like it's yeah. just but you and it's like at least like let's try to elevate. Like we we let's move forward. We we have like we let's not stand move forward, let's get better as right. a person. Reflection. Right. Right. Some people don't reflect. Like I reflect all the time. I think about like you gotta reflect because you're like, okay. How did I handle this situation? How did I look? What did I say? Right. You know, how am I am, am I looking like a hypocrite? Am I standing by this? Am I you know what I'm saying? It's just reflection. Gonna, Some people don't reflect. I'm gonna interject, like if you saying that mm. that that neighbor. Mm. So when we look at in, in the scriptures, it says, if you see your enemy's ox or his mm. uh, what is it, in the ditch or in the yeah, town, yeah. Um, you know, or, or, or he's go. gotten loose, yeah. you're commanded to help. You're commanded to go yeah. help that because that's his livelihood. Yeah. He needs that ox. So it don't mean you got to go and sit down and be his buddy yeah. every day, yeah, right. but that's that love for your neighbor. You say, look, I see my, my my neighbor's house is on fire. Back in the old times in America, there, there was a fire. Well, well, no, they had barn barn raisings. Mm -hmm. The whole community come together to put up one of the brothers' barns. One yeah. of their, they did a barn, so they'll all come out and they'll put they raise that barn together. Mm -hmm. um, I remember as a young man, my mom may cook something. You know, I'm mm -hmm. from the South. And she may say, go go carry this over to Miss Such and Such House. Carry this over there. She didn't tell me why. I'm, I got a pot or whatever. And I'm taking it to my neighbor. Or, or in the same time, the same way with us. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, take this to your mom. Take this to such and such. Mm -hmm. and I, I'm carrying some potatoes or a fish. Mm -hmm. They just thought about you. And they showed that love, but you said the Samaritan. Let's let's go and let's see. Since you brought it up, let's. Mm -hmm. I think that can fight. Mm -hmm. That can fight. Luke ten. Luke is Luke ten. Um, uh, in um, uh, you can go to Luke. You can find it in Luke. I think you also find. Oh yes, Luke yeah, ten. Yeah, verses. Uh, yeah, you, you can go to. You want to pick uh, it up? Oh, you, you want? Yeah, you can go and pick it up. Okay, I know Obi brought it up. I oh no! no. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to throw Obi off this yeah, game. Uh, <laughs> you want to start at 25? Okay. Yeah, oh, how the spirit move? Go ahead. All right. We'll start at verse uh, 30. Okay. No, let's go uh, 25. Okay. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love Yahweh thy Elohim with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. It's the greatest commandment, right? You just read that, right? That was right. You're right. Yep. Verse 28. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do, and thou shalt live. Okay. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Yahshua, And who is my neighbor? And there we go. Mm. Who, who is my neighbor? Mm -hmm. I roll with these things. Like, yeah. My, Sets. This this clicks. Same, I roll with this click. That's how cults get started. For right now. This is the click I'm with. Mm. Clicks, right? Yeah, yeah. clicks, cults, camps, yeah. camps. <laughs> camps. Yeah. 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 This it's is what we do. This is what like, we, we can't deal with you because you don't do this. Well, that's yeah. a cult. See, that's now you cult. got a cult. Yeah, that's a click, cult, camp, click. I mean, they, that, that's what they, I mean, they, they kind of interchange. <laughs> clicking right. clicking and cult. Clicking and click, cult. Cult, click. It's I'm deep. just, but that's funny, but it's, but it's, it's real. sad. It's sad. The, 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 the sad it's part true. is that they can't see themselves. Folks that they like, like folks, you can see them like, they, they don't even call it a call. They like, we're not, but you don't see yourself. That's a call. All y'all think of like, not one of y'all got a like, not like all y'all are dogs. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's like, like me, I, I think I told, I was talking to my children about that. I said, man, I couldn't be a, um, a suicide bomber. Cause I'm gonna ask questions. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, what are we gonna meet up after this is done? Like, nah, this right. this this right. thing don't sound right. But that's the spirit. We just good. <laughs> you and I discussed that yesterday. Yeah, we, yeah, we discussed. But the thing about it, <laughs> about suicide. You know, I joke in my don't know he's drunk. Right. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. <laughs> if you're mm -hmm. looking at it that way, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. my mindset with that same joke, uh, but, but the suicide bombing, yeah. yeah, that's and that's a serious situation. We're not joking about uh, about people losing no, their lives no. out of mm -hmm. terroristic no. things, but it comes down to that question. In order for you to do that, you have had to have been indoctrinated exactly. in something very uh, that may not necessarily be the the ask the court components of that religion. Mm -hmm. But the, the reality is, I'm going to ask the question. Well, when y'all 
Yeah. When y'all bombs on, when y'all going out? <laughs> yeah. I think I think what it falls to ever like okay. I think well, I gotta people, be the one to go first. People misunderstand like we're students, right? We were students under our elder. We were students under under, under we, we were raised up in teaching. But there's a difference between being a student and a follower. Mm. Now yeah, I follow that, Yashua. Now yes. Yes, I'm See, a follow with Yashua. I follow with Yashua, but I don't follow no man. No. Now, I'll listen to you, to your instruction. But when it comes time to make a decision on behalf of my family, I have to reflect and make a decision. I'm not going to follow what you say. That 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 then I'm not leaving myself. Then I'm that my wife is married to you. Mm. If you're oh, making wow. decisions for my house, then yeah. who, the hell, who the hell am I? She might as well be married to you. Right. Just because you don't move in with you. Yeah. Right. Pack up. I'm See? done. So yeah, no. no that's I mean, real, man. I think, I think a lot of people are, are, are our people get that twisted or get mixed up in that because of their it's a weak mindedness. I think it's a and, and, and it's sad because it seems as if sometimes we may, or our people, prey on the weak. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, sadly. But yeah. it's true. Yeah, I'm not going to prey on a strong-minded man, I want it. Because mm. he's going to get exactly what you're going for. Right. Mm. Right. Definitely. No. But, oh, but definitely, let's go to Luke 10, um, verse, you said verse 30? Yeah, we was at verse 30. But that, that's showing you this love about this neighbor. Mm. Who is my neighbor? That, that's the question that was posed So to Yahshua. He said, so latter part of verse 29, and who is my neighbor? And Yahshua answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by him, he passed by rather on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on. And passed by the other, passed on by on the passed by rather on the other side. Mm -hmm. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him. Mm. Okay, that's right, compassion. Mm. He had compassion. Praise God. Praise God. And went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Mm, then that's right. Go ahead. Uh, Ain't that the way the matters of the law? That's the way the matters of the law. Oh, that's right. That's it, yeah. Praise y'all for that. Praise that's yeah. right. That, 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 that mercy and judgment. Mm. Oh, Yahshua is consistent. See, see, that's why he's the standard. See, right. man is not consistent. Yahshua, he's, <laughs> he's consistent. the only perfect one. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Nobody else can fulfill that role. No, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. But, but finish up. I mean, that, that, that hit me right in the head right there. Uh, verse 37. And he said, He that showed mercy on him, then said Yahshua unto him, Go and do thou likewise. Wow. Just like wow. you said, Elio. Shema. Shema. Yeah. You know, not just here, but go and do likewise. Yeah. Do what I just told you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You Actions. To obey. You, have, you, have, you have to follow the instruction. Praise God. But, you know, my earlier mentioned, um, you know, the homeless. And, um, you know, each and every day, you know, I work, you know, I work downtown. Mm. And um, I try sometimes my very best to go above and beyond the law. I don't wait for the homeless to come to me. Mm. I go to the homeless. That's love. Where's your brother? You see what I'm saying? Don't wait. Mm. You know, don't don't wait. Don't be in the letter of the law. I be the letter of the law. But that's why it is the way the things of the law. Mm. We have to show the spirit, mercy of the law. Go to them. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for them to stretch their arm out. I need this. I need that. No. Yeah. Go to them and offer it to them. Mm. They they will have more respect for you. That's what I do downtown. That's it. That's it. Yeah, look, that's, it's like you said. Um, if, uh, if a man, if he had a stone, or if he had, would, would he give his, his son a piece of a stone if, mm. he, if, if, if he was hungry? Would he give him bread? Mm. You, you know, you see, you see your brothers in need. What, why would you withhold the goods if you had it? Just give him. Just give it up. So he he got the dignity. Like the, the, the scripture said, we or the law said. Don't cut the corners of the field. Yeah. Let the man have dignity. Don't let, 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 him, let him come. Let him come in. 
he he picked it himself. Yeah, yeah. let him feel like a man and do what he. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, I, that's 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 fair. Y'all yeah, that's fair. <laughs> We're about to burst out. <laughs> nah, I was laughing. No, what? Nigga, what's going on? What's going on? He's so happy. He's so he's, y'all. We don't brought him back. He's back here in the fold. <laughs> so yeah, 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 because there's two sides to every story, and I don't want to be that guy with talking about homeless and um uh, my my. <laughs> Yeah, we've had some experiences. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's two experiences. I, like once, like like my brother Obi called my wife and Obi like, man, I got to tell you this. So then Obi was saying like, and and by the way, just like bananas are good. Bananas have plenty of potassium. Okay, you know they give you energy. Right? I understand. <laughs> yes. Okay. So then Where's you know, this going? This so, is, so, so me, so me, Obi right? Like, man, we have bananas there. You know. So mm-hmm. then um. Um, a homeless pulled up to Obi. Now, matter of fact, you tell us though. Why am I telling you so? <laughs> I'm driving. I'm on the interstate. I see the brother on the side. He had a sign up said, "Anything is a blessing." So I'm, I'm like, man, I'm eating a banana. That's all. But I had a couple more inside of that. Okay. Before. So I'm like, man, let me try to get brother something. So like you say, hello. I'm trying to just have something ready for it mm. before we pull in. I, I already see it. I was like, all right. So I get the water. I get the banana. I roll the window down, he come up, man, he cussed me out. He said, I ain't no goddamn monkey. <laughs> so, <laughs> the brother said, he's, 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 he's no monkey. The brother said, ain't no monkey. Well, I guess I'm a monkey. Right. He got a, I said, I'm eating it too, bro. I just got a shovel. <laughs> the brother wants you to understand anything meaning currency. You know what I'm saying? Any amount of anything currency. Anything uh, currency. Uh, currency. Uh, currency. Uh, 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 currency. It's a blessing. Oh, man. But 50 cents. A dollar. But you know, even that situation, that's a funny situation, but. <laughs> you know, Obi like like me, Obi Rob. You know, Obi don't understand the wisdom he has, but it would take wisdom for Obi to go to that experience, through that experience, and not treat the the next homeless man because of his past experience. Yeah, that's that's see, important. See, that's, see that's, some that's get wrapped up like you right. talk about love. Yeah, that is love. Like okay, that happened. Shake it off. I was supposed to learn from it. Right. You don't treat the next person. Oh, like you see what I'm saying? Right. And then another story. We we was pulling a who was that? Wesley Chapel. And and and, and it's European Gentile. So mm-hmm. he was white, and he came up, and he was like, and, and then we was thinking about, like, oh shoot, we don't know, cause we got bananas and peanut butter jelly sandwich. So so we gave it to him, and then he was like, and then we had um, he's like, man, he was just so like, I mean, he 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 was he was about to bow down. I'm like, man, we don't do that. We like, what you doing? Like, we we it it feels good to give, you know what I'm saying? And then we tried to give him some mm-hmm. truck. Some um some trail mix, you know, and I'll be like, nah, I'm like, why? He like, he got no teeth. I like, okay, I'm sorry, but still, like, and, and this is not even our people. Mm. We pulled up. He was like, he was he he, he wanted to bow, and then it, now it remind me of um Peter. Well, no, no, when we well, it's, it's Peter. Peter. Yeah, when we, he, he, what? I mean, we, yeah, yeah. We like, nah, don't. Yeah. No, I like, nah, we, nah, we bow down to us because if we let you, then we got to answer to y'all. We're like, hey man, you know better. You let this man bow down to you. Oh, what's what, this? You gonna let him kiss your feet too? Like these Hebrews doing on the side mm. of the road? Yeah, there, there have been examples of that. They go ahead and do it. But you know what, Ella? I've been telling this story. I know, not. It, look, we're gonna wrap up. We're gonna tell one more story. We're yeah, gonna yeah, it, it's a very short one. But, um, you know, I pull over and, you know, I park my truck and I walk over from my truck, maybe about 50 feet. The next thing I noticed is with a homeless woman. She came there banging on my window and wanted to break my window. Yeah, because my bag and everything was, you know, you can't see through it's the window. Okay. Yeah, it's visible. And, um, you know, so I'm, I'm walking and I'm like, for real? <laughs> so I, 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 I walk up to her and I say, oh, well, you're trying to break in my window. You know, and, and she's like, I'm not breaking in my window. I, I said, yes, I saw you with my own eyes. You know, I mean, someone would like call the cops or something. Yeah, we don't rock you know, I, and I roll like that. So I went around to the driver's seat, I opened my door, you know, you know and, I, and I wind on the window. And you know, I always have my lunch, my breakfast, and everything with me. And you know, I you know, instead of calling the cops, you know, I said, you know, mm. you know, I have I have my breakfast and my lunch here. Let me share it with you. Mm. So I took you know most of my thing, and I give it to her. Like, Thank you. Praise and she took it and I went and back. I mean, right. you well, know, I, I, and that's a blessing that we're in these mm-hmm. positions. But like sure, but like as y'all should have said, mm. the poor. It's gonna, they're gonna be with you always. Yeah. So oh, yeah. we're gonna have many and many opportunities as long as we're in the land of the living to open up that hand wide to our poor brothers and sisters and neighbors who may not be yeah. of your ethnic group, mm-hmm. right? Or it may not be of your uh, belief system, mm-hmm. in fact, that, you know, of your belief system. So with that, but what we just read in Luke 10, mm-hmm. that's the Mashiach saying it very clearly. Right. Um, you know, because 
the priests, mm. you know, the sons of Aaron, mm -hmm. they know the law. Yep. They've been dedicated and sanctified to come before Yahweh in the Holy of Holies mm. and to make those sacrifices to the to Yahweh for the people and themselves annually. But they he walked right past them, the mm. Levites, who assist in the ministry, right? Who belong to mm. the, the priests, uh, uh, who given to the uh the uh, the priests, the okay. sons of Aaron, and just walk right they walk right past the guy. Mm -hmm. And the Sam Samaritans, the people that are not like who, who the Jews saw as being their blood being mingled and not pure, they're not you know they're not really right. So and there's a history down. behind that. Huh? They look down upon. They them. look down upon them. But they had the spirit of the law. They had the spirit of the law, and that's and I think that's what we're because saying. Because the, the, we understand the claim of these laws, they couldn't defile themselves, but. So, 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 so the law was meant to kill someone? Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Well, put, put the I Yeshua said, so, uh, the letter Yeshua said very, you know, very clearly, you know, I'm here to, I'm here to give life. Mm. It's about life. Life is more than just the, the letter of the law. Mm. Plus mercy is built into that. Mm. As we said, the the, you tithe, you pay the tithe of the, 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 what is it? The, the niece, the, 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 and have forsaken the weightier matters of the law. Mm -hmm. Mercy, judgment, judgment, mercy, and faith. Right. These you ought to have done. Mm -hmm. And I bet the other, the other they go undone. So, yeah, you're supposed to keep the commandments and mm -hmm. do those things uh, as the law prescribes. But there's more the spiritual things of the law. So, Yahshua was saying this, the, the law was always spiritual. Mm -hmm. The judgment, good judgment, and mercy was already, it was already built into the law. Right. It right. wasn't it wasn't lacking mm. the doers of you just couldn't do it mm. or resisted the spirit mm. and Joshua said your fathers you like your fathers you always resist the spirit mm. it's about so we got to be careful what we're doing so that's a good point but I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring it back around that we we started in chapter 12 but the spirit moved us to some other areas mm. of Genesis chapter 12 mm. where the brother Mikhail had brought up how Yahweh uh, went uh, and how Abram mm -hmm. went back for his um, his his nephew yeah. Lot, mm -hmm. but now um, let's kind of move on a little bit. Um, I think we, you know, but I think <coughs> one thing uh, anybody else have any points they want to bring up in chapter thirteen or fourteen of Genesis before we uh, get to verse fifteen, chapter fifteen. I, I think we can get to fifteen. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, but, uh, for those of us who were not. Uh, yeah. Here last week with us on the Sabbath, mm -hmm. on the Sabbath, chapter 14 brings up a very critical uh, point of mm -hmm. uh, interaction, I should say. Mm -hmm. Abram uh, meets the high priest Melchizedek, mm -hmm. the high priest of the Most High God or El Aion, mm -hmm. and he blessed him. Mm -hmm. He blessed him. And then he say he blessed him, and Abram paid tithes mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. And we know that why is that so critical? Because this is a priest. We came to that conclusion last week. Melchizedek is of a of, of a different order of priest. Right. He's not of the, the Aaronic priesthood, mm -hmm. so he's not in the lineages of anybody in this book. There's no beginning or end, right? Mm -hmm. So it was. So it was even. Uh, what it, it wasn't even an earthly priesthood. It wasn't an earthly priesthood. Mm -hmm. Melchizedek is of a heavenly priesthood, mm -hmm. and you go to Psalms one ten. Mm -hmm. If you go to Psalms one ten, one of you brothers. Yeah. I'm and uh, I'm but we're not going to just wear it out, but we want to just go there and read that about the promise that Yahweh makes to Yahshua before Yahshua even manifests mm -hmm. into the earth. That. Because Yahshua is that Christ. He's going to be that anointed. Mm -hmm. What does it say? You, you have it? Yeah, I have it. Um, Psalms 110, verse 1. Yahweh said unto my Adonai, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Yahweh shall send thy rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thy in the midst of thy enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou has the dew of thy youth. Yah has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Adonai at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. 
He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. Now, if you don't know, that's prophesying about Yahshua HaMashiach, hmm. or Yahshua the Messiah, Yahshua the Christ, the anointed. So, we, so the priest uh, that Melchizedek met in, 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 in Genesis 14, Melchizedek himself, mm -hmm. it says his, he's of an everlasting priesthood. Mm -hmm. It goes back to what you said. So this order is a heavenly order. Mm -hmm. And we know later on when the uh, Moshe delivers Israel out, Yahweh gives him a pattern how to build a tabernacle. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's, a, it's a shadow of that which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So there are priests in the tabernacles in heaven. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they carry out those priestly duties. They, they're order. So that's the order because in heaven things are forever. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So Melchizedek is of that order and Yahshua is of that order because he's not only he's a king as we said in our introduction. Mm -hmm. Yahshua is king of Israel, king of the earth. Right? And he's also high priest. And we discussed those things last week. If you go to Hebrews chapter 4 and Hebrews, what, chapter 5 right. and Hebrews chapter 7, yeah. it goes in great detail. Mm -hmm. And we discussed those uh, um, uh, uh, letters yeah. last week right. to let you know that Yahshua is of the order of Melchizedek. Yeah. So therefore, if you're praying, you got to pray to Yahweh through the high priest mm. in the name of the high priest, Yahshua, which is his son. But he's the high priest. Remember when he ascended to heaven? Mm -hmm. He went to the tabernacle. He went before the what, altar in heaven, right? Mm. The woman wanted to touch him. When he when Mary, Miriam saw him, not Mary. Um, Mary. Was it, no, was it, it is the same thing. She saw him. She said, Adam, said don't touch me. Don't touch me. I haven't ascended yet. Mm. You want to go to the altar in heaven? Mm. That's the high priest. So why do they have to go through a high priest? Why, why can't they just go straight to Yahweh? I'm sorry? Why do they have to go through a high priest? Yeah, sure. Why can't they just go straight to Yahweh? Well, it's the way you do things the way Yahweh <laughs> said. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to go serve another <laughs> yeah, God, yeah, yeah. you go serve mm -hmm. those gods. Mm -hmm. You know, some would say the God of your imagination, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So but you can go serve all those gods. Mm -hmm. And I'm praying. And, and, and now, a lot of our people... Or in these relations, because Yahweh has allowed that, because Israel is blind right now, mm -hmm. and Yahweh has given us over to that. Mm -hmm. Not that Yahweh, but it's a time where we're coming out of that. Mm -hmm. This is where we are now. This is why Yahweh separated us mm -hmm. uh, as a people, waking us up. We've been separated when we came into this word. Mm -hmm. The minute we came into this word and got the baptism in Yah's name, in Yahshua Mashiach's name, we've been separated, mm -hmm. right? Just like Yah separated Abram. You're separated to do good works. You're mm -hmm. separated to be a uh, priest of Yah. We do these holy works. Mm -hmm. So we can't, we got to do it the way the book is set up to do it. Decently and decently in order. We can't do it any other way. Yeah. Well, what did we say? There's no other name mm -hmm. that you can be saved by. Mm -hmm. That's right. The book says that. Now, if we go, now with that, you open the candle. On. Well, we call on, we, we say the Messiah, the anointed, is, is this. And we say it's this. And we say it that. We say it's Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not for me to yeah. uh, get into a debate with you about. But I know that uh, the Spirit, Yahweh, uh, that's the name that uh, the Holy Spirit moved me to. And that's the name of the Messiah that he moved me to. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't mean I can't have a discussion with you because you may call on a different, uh, uh, a, what's the word? Um, literal, not literation, but a, uh, a different uh, version or different you may pronounce it different, for mm -hmm. example. You may say Yahweh. Mm -hmm. uh, not, that's not my job yeah. to fall out with you about that because mm -hmm. what I'm looking at is Yahweh put his word even above his name. Mm -hmm. So you got to go ahead and find out are you keeping these commandments? Mm -hmm. Are you kind of walking the spirit of the law? You know, which Yahweh has given you through his son, Yahshua, right? That's it. Yeah. I mean, you see, I mean, he asked a, a really good question. And, uh, you know, you could send it to the book. I know you are, we have a discussion 
But um, you have to look up um, on how Yahweh set up the priesthood. That's right. Go back into the book of Leviticus and um, Leviticus 8, you know, you read it the entire book. And it's right. always set up the whole, supposed to be function, That's right. you know, within the priesthood. Right. Yeah. Yahweh set that up. That's right. You Yahweh can't go above it. that. Exactly. It's top at a certain point. Yeah. And well, if you set up someone in the priesthood, it's top at that point. And you got to follow the instructions because they did. Uh, was a uh, Adab and a bottle? Mm, that yes. They they string put incense. that they put that spring incense. Yeah, and off. they got struck down, set on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And before before Aaron could even cry, mm -hmm. and, and what did Mo y Moshe say? This is what I told you. Mm -hmm. Yahweh's gonna be sanctified. Mm -hmm. Yahweh's gonna be sanctified. Yahweh's gonna be sanctified. That's right. And you better start if you're listening. You better start sanctifying Yahweh now, because one of my uh, like you said opinions, but. Oh, we got this plague in the earth. We got this stuff. Sanctify Yahweh in it. Mm. Isn't Yahweh over all things? Yeah. Mm. Stop giving man the glory. Mm. The Chinese, the Chinese did this, and, and maybe this group did it, and this group did it. Mm. But so well, what? so what? If it's ordained of Yahweh, Yahweh may put a spirit in man to do anything to destroy themselves. That's right. Just to carry out His point. Mm. But, you, but if but you wanted to go the way you wanted to go, Man. that's what our fathers couldn't see the Mashiach. Man. You know, you know, Ella, our people, they are stiff men. Well, it's not on our people, it's, not, it's, it's humanity at this point. They're so hard. Yeah. We, we might be extra hard, but yeah. I, I say all people are doing this. Yeah. But we are the people that of the book. Now, that's the that's truth. right. And, that's we are, truth. and we are, our father showed that they couldn't, um, they had a problem with that uncircumcised heart. Yeah. You know, so we we Moshe couldn't get to the kingdom, couldn't, couldn't get to the land mm -hmm. because he didn't. He, he and Aaron mm -hmm. failed to sanctify Yahweh one time. Mm -hmm. All that work, all the things he did, all the intercessions that Moshe had did for the people, his people, to keep them alive. Mm -hmm. But he said, "You saying what you do? Mm -hmm. you, know, you rebels and struck Yahweh didn't tell them to do that. Right. He's trying to show the people this is how Yahweh loved." can do anything. But yeah, yeah. we all slip. Yeah, we slip. And so mm -hmm. we I could have slipped too because we get angry because yeah. he's flesh. Uh, matter of fact, I was reading that this week. I was reading and, and thinking along the line of a positive mindset, right? Because all throughout, Moshe had a positive mindset, but man, he had a fight on his hands. You know what I'm saying? Every time he tell the people this, they just vex like, I'm just trying to help you. Like, well, did you bring us out here to kill us? And then you can see, like, like Obi, protect your energy, right? People don't just, like, protect your energy. mean, protect your peace. Right. Because, because you know, and, and, and we all fall because that was hard. Like, just, like, that's how important Moshe peace is. Because look, be, be, because he did everything right up to that point. Mm -hmm. But then, like, it just, I mean, that's the flesh. It just, like, he right. back, and then he did something he, he shouldn't have done. Right, right. That's and right. I think and I think that's mm -hmm. what we, we have to Constantly thank Yahweh for his son Yahshua Mashiach. That's right. Because yeah. through him, we can fall, but we can find what mercy and forgiveness. Mm -hmm. See how good Yahweh is? He set that up for us. That's right. See how good that is? Mm -hmm. See, we, 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 we ought to be praising Yahweh 24-7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time we get a chance, every other breath. Thank every you. Breath, yeah. Thank you, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Take that breath right back. Uh, I get everything that has breath for you. Yeah. Praise yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. a right. A righteous man in a fallen. Mm -hmm. But because of the spirit that y'all are putting in, we rise up again. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, we've covered some material here. I think we went back mm -hmm. um, and, and had some good discussion because we want to try to, we don't want to rush over things and gloss over things. But right now, um, we're getting ready to go into the class. Uh, Father Abram, Ham, Father Abraham, part two. And we're going to start that up. Uh, in uh, Genesis chapter 15, and I guess we'll just go to my left, Brother Uriah, would you uh, uh, start this up, and then we'll just continue to go around, I guess, mm -hmm. my brothers. Genesis, we're in the book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 1. Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. After these things, the word of Yahweh came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. 
And Abraham said, Adonai Elohim, what will you give me, seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus? And Abraham said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is my heir. Okay. And behold, the word of Yahweh came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. Okay. Verse 5. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven and tell the star if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Okay. And he believed in Yahweh, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Now, brother, one you don't went through verses one through five, mm -hmm. and uh, Yahweh's telling him, "Am I? Anybody have any questions? What? Well, he said you're gonna have a son of your own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now they went through some issues, uh, different things going, but it's gonna come out of your. It's not gonna be an adoption." It's not going to be, mm. it's going to be you, your, out of your bowels. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be, so it's always very clear with Abram at this point. Yeah. I think that's powerful. And then when you get down to um, belief, that's that faith. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. He counted his belief as righteousness. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, my brother. You know, so I think, I think that was just a good point. I want to just point that out. Yeah. But you know what, again, um, that same scenario, he he told David. He showed David that. That same scenario. Mm -hmm. And people, especially, you know, our brothers, I would say our Hebrew nation, mm -hmm. they're having a hard time believe what, what? that the Messiah comes. You know what? Let's read that it's first. Second Samuel. Yeah, yeah I read that. Read that yeah. I know where you're going because they have a hard time. Yeah. Uh, you're a Christian. Oh, they're talking about, he's a, uh, he's of a descendant of, uh, of, of David, uh, no, but he's the son of Yosef, right? Mm. Maybe, we, maybe later on we should. Um, we just went to the walk class of that. Oh too. yeah, that praise God. Yeah, we're in the book of Second um, Samuel, chapter seven. You maybe just, you just for time's sake, just read verse twelve. Yeah, let's go ahead and just cover it. Yeah, yeah, and this is when um, the Most High Yah has sent uh, Nathan, you know, to David. Nathan's a prophet, right? Yeah, prophet. yeah, Nathan, yeah, Nathan is a prophet. And he said him to David, verse 12. But for time's sake, you know, our uh, viewers, you can read from verse 10 to verse um, 20 to get the, the grasp of everything right here. Yeah, I'll go from one. I'll just go from the big, read, read that old chapter. One through 20. <laughs> but it's a beautiful situation. Yeah. yeah. But, but nevertheless, go ahead, Never, Yeah, let's uh, look to verse 12. And when thy days be fulfilled, it's talking about David now. You know, when he, you know, when he, he dies? When he dies. Okay. And thou shalt sleep with thy fathers. I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, so, see, uh, go ahead, go ahead. So what he's saying here, after David died, he's going to set up David's seed. After, after many, him. many, many days afterwards. Exactly. Yes, sir. Exactly. And, and, and I think you, go ahead, go ahead, continue, but you need to keep reading. Well, look at this. I think that's it. I'm about to yell. Yeah. You, yeah. yeah, you can't just stop now. Yeah, you can't stop now. Okay, that's all okay. I'm moving. I'm, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. I'm going to see where you're going to go. You can't stop there. Yeah. I was going to give you the whole yeah. verse 13. Go ahead, read this, man. Yeah, my yeah. elders, continue to read, man. It's a beautiful story. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. And he shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. See, that's why you had to read that, because some people say that's slow mo. But mm. Snow Moon had no kingdom forever. No, mm. sure did. Mm. David had a lot of sons. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So we have to be clarified as to which yeah. son. Yeah. Yeah. son. So which son was this? This was this was Yahshua. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. This is when we know it's Yahshua. Yeah. Correct. Because we're gonna yeah. Yeah. just keep yeah. on. Okay. Yeah. 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 Deep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 14. And I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chastise him with the rod of men mm. and with the stripes of the children of men. But my mercy shall not depart mm. away from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before thee. And thine house and thy kingdom 
shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. Wow. Mm. He loved David. He said, I'm honoring David. That's yeah. Forever. Mm. I'm going to build your house, David. <laughs> Verse 17. According to all these words, and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. Then went King David in and sat before Yahweh, and he said, Who am I, O Adonai Elohim? And what is my house that thou hast brought me hitherto? And this was yet a small thing in thy sight, O Adonai Elohim. But thou hast spoken also of thy servant's house for a great while to come. And, and is this the manner of man, O Adonai Elohim? And what can David say more unto thee? For thou, Adonai Elohim, knoweth thy servant. Mm. See, uh, mm -hmm. these are the things that, so when you're saying, when we just read about that bow, it's a good point you brought us here. Mm -hmm. Because same thing with Abram. Abram, you're going to have your own son. Mm -hmm. You're going to come from your bowels. Mm -hmm. And then we say, we, we see this written, well, this can't be referring to the Messiah. This can't be, well, this this, this prophesied of Yahshua. Mm -hmm. And you'll get into arguments. Well, let's go, since we started this discussion, let's go to Luke chapter 1. Mm -hmm. And brother, um, you know, I guess mm -hmm. Mick, you're next on the deck, and we're gonna come back to uh, we're gonna come back to you, uh, Uriah, in Genesis. But we're gonna just build on this uh, what the angel uh, said, and people you gloss over that we they gloss over this, but it's, it is really really important. That's right. And uh, to 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 get it to get it down pat, and I think we can start in Luke 20, Luke one chapter twenty eight uh, now uh, twenty seven because now. We, we, Is it this, chapter 27? No, Luke, Luke one. chapter 1, oh, one. Oh. verse 27. Oh. And this is when Gabriel is visiting uh, Miriam. I don't think about 26. Huh? 26. You 26. can, that's fine. Yeah. You can go to 26 and go take it to 38. Go read. You are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Ask somebody. Work. Hey, y'all, yeah, work, yeah, you need to put it work, to work, man. Work. <laughs> work. Uh, I'm reading again. <laughs> Luke, Luke chapter John. 1, praise John. Luke chapter 1, verse 26. Mm -hmm. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from Elohim unto the city of Galilee named Nazareth. Okay. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph in the house of David. Of the house of David. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me read that again. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Right. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, hail. Thou that art highly favored, the Adonai, Yahweh is with thee, blessed art thou among women. Wow, that's deep. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of sal salutation this would be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with Elohim. Praise mm -hmm. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Yahshua. He shall bring, he shall be great, and shall be called the son of the highest, and, and the Adonai Elohim shall give, and Yahweh Elohim shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Mm -hmm. Then said Mary unto the angel, How how shall this be done, seeing I know not a man? Okay, okay. Keep on, just, just wrap it up. Okay. And the angel answered and said unto her, the holy, the holy Spirit shall come unto thee, and the power of the highest shall over, mm -hmm. overshadow right. thee. Therefore, also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of Yahweh. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth shall have also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called Mary. Be reading. Yes, sir. Wrap oh. it up. Thirty-eight. Yeah. Oh, thirty-eight. Oh. And with Elohim, nothing shall be impossible. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of my master, of, of the Adonai, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Praise Yah. Yeah. So now, what did we just read? But it took us to 2 Samuel 7, right? Mm -hmm. And here we are in the gospel mm -hmm. that's been fulfilled. It says clearly, People, you gloss over this, you're going to miss it. In verse 32, 
he shall be great. His name, he gave him his name. Name him Yahshua. Mm -hmm. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest mm -hmm. when he dies and ascends. But we know that what that means. Mm -hmm. And the Adam and the Elohim shall give him, mm -hmm. shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. Mm -hmm. That's his father. Mm -hmm. Right here. Right. In the gospel. That's right. Mm -hmm. So no, there is no, yes, the Holy Spirit did come upon Mary. But Yahweh preserved that seed. Yeah, man can do it. Yeah, that's true. So why can't Yahweh do it? Oh, can we get down here? Yeah. I guess Yahweh is not <laughs> yeah. good enough. Yeah, I guess he Yahweh can make you. Yahweh can get a blueprint. He, 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 can, make you, from man. he yeah. can make you from the dirt, but I guess he can't yeah. preserve yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you know, that's like when um when Abram was, uh, or when Abraham, when angels came unto him, mm -hmm. and um, they told him that his wife was going to conceive. Right. And then... Um, she laughs around, but she didn't laugh out loud, but she laughed within herself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? How is this going to be possible? How is this possible? I'm not even about to be able to. But is anything impossible for Yahweh? That's what, yeah. that's, that's what it came back to. Is anything impossible for Yahweh? Yeah. And that's what it says right here, verse 37. Mm -hmm. For with Elohim, nothing shall be impossible. See? So you start de debating with me about, mm -hmm. oh, well, was she a virgin? Uh, she. Uh, her father was the must have been a Roman. David, Yo, Joseph slept with her. You got all kind of things. Well, you don't have really a belief in the omnipotent and omniscience, the omnipotent power of Yahweh. Yahweh. Mm -hmm. There's nothing too hard for him. Yeah, we, we surely got to um, you know you know present um, the viewers a class from that. Oh yeah. So well, thank you for letting us know. The doubt was a doubt. <laughs> We don't make sure we we'll give that class to the Yahweh. Right. Yahweh. Right. Yeah, because even in the story, he said there's nothing yeah. impossible for Yahweh. I mean, I, I mean, even in our story, you 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 have an ass talking. I mean, sure we we have ass talking today, but it's different. You know that we we have an action. <laughs> That was, that was a jab. Yeah, that was a jab. But let's keep it holy. I'm sorry, forgive me. But but yeah, it's nothing is impossible. I mean, this is this is Yahweh. I mean, our time. He's not bound by our time. Mm -hmm. So that should tell you something, right? He, he made time. he made no our time, time for us. Right, he made time. Yeah, yeah, yeah he made time. He didn't need time. No, he didn't need us. Oh, he put, put time on a per uh, I say a purpose, but at some. You know the, the, the deity that create time. Right, you can above and beyond. Yeah, above and beyond. That's what exactly. you yeah. right. Well, let's keep on get back to the uh, but but you, you, you yeah back to Genesis and you had wrapped up um, you started, up to verse um, six. Yeah, go ahead, read, Genesis, five, five, five. read five again and we can keep on moving. Okay, we're in the book of uh, Genesis chapter fifteen and we're gonna pick it up from verse five. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven and tell the star if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in Yahweh and he counted it to him for righteousness. And he said unto him, I am Yahweh that brought thee out of Ur of the Chaldees to give thee this land to inherit it. And he said, Adonai Elohim, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? And he said unto him, Take me an heifer of three, three years old, and, she, and a she goat of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. And he took unto him all these, and divided them in the midst, and laid each piece one against another, but the birds divide you not. He made a sacrifice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Eleven. And when the fowls came down upon the carcasses, Abraham drove them away. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham. And lo, a horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them for a hundred years. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. And also, that nation whom they shall serve, will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with great substance. And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in a, in a good old age, but in the fourth generation, they shall come hither again, for the iniquity of the Amorite is not yet full. Praise God. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, that's, 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 now, we just read some. This is the covenant. 
Now, Yahweh has made a covenant, right? He's made a covenant with him. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, he's made a covenant with, with Abel. He said, how will I know? I'm going to give you, I'm going to make, I'm going to give up. I'm going to give you my covenant. I'm going to make a covenant to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a promise to you. Mm -hmm. Right? But, but it seems kind of odd that, um, can, you, can you shrink it down? Please? Is it showing fully up there? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, when we, and those of you who are watching, you're going to see behind me, uh, there's some legislation. But let's, before we go into that legislation, let's look and see what mm -hmm. you went over, brother uh, Uriah. Um, mm -hmm. Bert, did you read verse 13 again? Mm -hmm. Verse 13. And he said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them 400 years. Right. And what's going to happen in verse 14? And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with great substance. So he's showing him something about his descendants, his seed. That's going to be taking place mm -hmm. in the uh, in the future. Is that right? Is mm -hmm. that fair to say? Yeah. Right. He's showing him something. Uh, Israel is still in his loins mm -hmm. at this point, correct? Mm -hmm. The seed has left yeah. him. Yeah. Yep. But that, but to Yahweh, that's no big deal because mm -hmm. it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. he, made a, he made a covenant. Right. Like it's a, Elder, can I read a definition? Go ahead. Go ahead. Real quick. What definition? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this is in the. Um, the Holman's Illustrated Bible Dictionary. Okay. It's just covering a covenant. Okay. It says, uh, in basic terms, a covenant involves some type of agreement or promise made between two parties by which they swear the allegiance to one another. Mm. More specifically, the biblical covenants are agreements or promises made between two parties, normally between Elohim and his people, mm -hmm. which establish a relationship between them. As, as covenants are enacted, at least one of the parties, usually both, swears an oath under the threat of a divine curse to uphold their obligation to the other party, which is then ratified by a visual ritual. Mm -hmm. In this way, a covenant establishes a new binding relationship between two people, which includes within it blessings for obedience and curses as a consequence of disobedience. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's important because I probably hear... Yahweh shows him some, but later on there's going to be a cut of my probably prematurely spoke right here mm -hmm. because later on we're going to see that covenant in the flesh that's going to be of the circumcision. No, you're supposed right. you know, it, but I think it's still a covenant. It's, it's seven covenants. It's seven covenants. So this is one, you know. And so, and that's and that's important to understand, brother Obi, to to read those words mm -hmm. and to know what they mean. And uh, cause I'm going to bring that up right here. Yeah, that's fine. But uh. Yeah, my yeah. Notes, whatever. Okay, so we we know this covenant has been made. Yahweh is saying it's usually it's usually one mm. a quid a contract quid pro quo Latin word. Right. You know, you do this, I'm going to do that. Mm. Now we got an agreement here. Mm. Uh, it's implicit, but Abram is being obedient. He's doing what Yahweh's instructing him to do. Mm -hmm. So if you do these things, oh, I'm going to give you the land. I'm already said I'm going to do this. Because he knows Abraham, Abraham's going to do it. But there's going to be some things Abraham got to go through or Abraham has to go through mm -hmm. when he becomes Abraham. Mm -hmm. But this part, where you just read in verses 13 and 14, mm -hmm. speaks of his descendants. And we know, having the full story, it's talking about uh, Israel mm -hmm. and what's going to be happening to them. Mm -hmm. They're going to be in a land, not their own. Mm -hmm. So behind me, who else fulfills the scriptures? Except here, uh, particularly right here in the Daughter of Babylon, in America, in the Americas, except for so called people that are called black and colored and Negro, and we got all kind of names for us, and some horrible bywords and proverbs. Mm -hmm. But we've been here in America for 400 years. Now, behind me, as you, as you look up on wall, you're going to see in, in, in 2018, mm -hmm. the United States Congress passed. A resolution, HR twelve forty two, and we can kind of I can do it here. Yeah, twelve forty two, and this act, this bill, this resolution created a commission. It's, I can't see it, but you're moving. I don't yeah. know if you're moving. Okay, but it's entitled the the commission is called the four hundred years is is dedicated to the four hundred years of African American history mm -hmm. commission, mm -hmm. and it deals with our presence here. 
in, in, the United, uh, in, the, in the United States in particular. And as you can see in section two, it reads, this, in this act, commemoration, the term commemoration means commemoration of the 400th anniversary of the arrival of Africans in the English colonies at Port Comfort, Virginia in 1619. Okay, they passed this resolution in 2018 for the purpose. So now, when people talk about foreign years, well, we understand it. Obviously, his people are in the Caribbean, they're in America. But Yahweh is saying that this is going to trigger because there were people already enslaved in the islands mm -hmm. and in South America. Mm -hmm. But this, we believe, based on this, this scripture, mm -hmm. supports the countdown. Mm. So, but you got some people over that say uh, that was in Egypt. Mm -hmm. That was already fulfilled. Well, if we, but Egypt, if we were to go to the book of Exodus right now, mm -hmm. let me see, can we go there? Mm -hmm. uh, let's go there and let's just see. Wait, but, but does, it, does, does it have any validity? No, it doesn't have, but that, just to ask your question, uh, the children of Israel, once you get to that point, Joseph was sold by his brothers. Mm -hmm. Jacob's son, Jacob's name became Israel. Mm -hmm. And his, his sons sold Joseph into uh, slavery, into bondage. And he was taken to Egypt, mm -hmm. right? We're going to get into that. So we're going to get into that. So when he got there, at the, during the fullness of time, he becomes the second only to Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Because of the spirit of wisdom Yahweh had placed on him. Mm -hmm. He saw him as a wise man. Mm -hmm. And he was put in that position to do what? Because there was going to be famine come. Mm -hmm. And Joseph said he was the best guy for the job. To collect the food and store for those seven years of famine. It would be seven years of plenty, seven years of famine. Mm -hmm. right? right? So, the word had already made it back to Canaan. They knew already. And some, by the time the famine was starting, Jacob and his sons, they said, look, there's food down in Egypt. Jacob told me there's food down in Egypt. You go on down there and get us some food. Come back. Now we know the story. Yeah. But ultimately, Jacob, I mean Yosef, was revealed that he was that he was alive and that he was uh, the second man in charge uh, in Egypt. A beautiful story, man. Beautiful, beautiful story. story. Yeah. And he brought his family back. Mm. Yahweh had allowed him to go into bondage, mm. not to punish him, but to put him in a position mm. so he could save the lives of Jacob and his brothers and their children and everybody else. And he brought them into the land mm -hmm. of Egypt. And, and Pharaoh was so enthralled and, and, and respected Joseph, that he said, look, I'm going to give them the land of Goshen. Mm -hmm. You can never stay there. You know, we know Joseph worked that thing out. Right. But they went into the land of Goshen. So 70 souls. They did not go in there the first day mm -hmm. as slaves. That's right. Huh? This book says, when we read in Genesis uh, what is it? Chapter 15. 15, 15 13. Yeah. He says they they they're gonna go, they're gonna be afflicted there for four hundred years. That's right. right. So right. four hundred years got a, a starting point. That's mm -hmm. right. But we look at the we look in the book of Exodus and study. No, Joseph was free, man. He he went there as a slave, mm -hmm. but he was released mm -hmm. and became the, uh, and became the second man in charge, only unto Pharaoh. Right. And everybody else came there free. And had the best of the land mm -hmm. in Goshen. And they they remained in Goshen and in Egypt for hundreds and hundreds of years until a time where a pharaoh was on the throne who did not remember Joseph. Right? right? That's correct, man. So we know when you look at the time Moshe was born, that's when the afflictions were coming. Because mm -hmm. Moshe was supposed to be killed. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. But his mother had mercy on him, had the spirit on her. Now put him in the Gave it to us to put him in the back. So right. You know, kept him for a while. So, by the time he become a man at 40, right? When, when we see him again, he's 40 years old. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. He's 40 years old, and the children of Israel are in hard bondage. So, from the time that he lived, when he was born in the affliction, right, of Israel, mm -hmm. there were two other things that happened before. They put him in slavery. They didn't die out. Then they put, they put the taskmaster over. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. They kept having more children. Then they went to the bond women, killed the firstborn. Mm -hmm. That, right? All that didn't work. Right? <laughs> right? And Moshe, Moshe was in that. So mm -hmm. we calculate that 
the children of Israel, they sojourn. Sojourn means what? To live in a place. Right. You reside. Mm -hmm. They sojourn in Egypt 430 years. Mm -hmm. well, that's not the 400 years. Yeah. They were not in bondage the whole 430 years. Mm -hmm. The slavery, the, the affliction period was between 80 to 100 because well, eight, 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 died at what, 120 years? 120 years. Is that right? So they, mm -hmm. and he was 40, he was a man, he was 40 years old when he comes into his own. Now way he got that spirit to look at the, the bondage of his people, mm -hmm. right? So no, I right. think when you look at it, so when they came out, for in 30 years, they had, they had lived, Yahweh let them, how could they become a nation from 70, if they went there and said, they have been dead in one generation, they have been worked them all to death. That's right. Mm -hmm. So they had to prosper. That's right. And Good grow, and grow into a nation. Yeah. That's not They don't hold no weight, what they say. It's a lack like of reading and understanding. <laughs> exactly, my brother. But you know what, Ella, look also on verse 14. Okay. I mean, he said, but in the fourth generation, okay. they shall come hither again. Right, right. you got to come back. Yeah, you got to come back. So you have to be in that place before you can come back again. Good point. So when and did you know, you know, the children of you know, went into slavery? They didn't go there. They, they didn't go there yet. They yeah. haven't been there Not yet. Not in this time. That, that's the, and I think that's why when we started looking mm -hmm. at, when we said we're the children of Israel, mm -hmm. that's fine. You mm -hmm. don't have to believe us. I know that I'm a Jew. I know that I'm a, I'm a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, mm -hmm. whose name became Israel. I know that. I, I, that's the faith I have. Y'all always giving that to me. I'm holding on to that. All of us. Uh, I'm not yeah. kind of, you know, that's what we're doing. Yeah. So if we're looking at this 400 years, and you're looking at, and like you said, you got to come back and to get them, we're the people that fulfill this scripture. Mm -hmm. So behind us, they're commemorating our people being here 400 years. Mm -hmm. We've been here a long time. Mm -hmm. But then, how do we know? Go, somebody go to Deuteronomy 28. Go, go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 6. Mm -hmm. And this kind of, those blessings and curses in Deuteronomy 28. They just, just certain little things mm -hmm. that show. When you read Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, Yahweh already knows his people are going to break the covenant. That's right. And, and, and they're certainly going to fall into these, like you, like you just said, mm -hmm. two people are in a covenant normally. Right. And there's a blessing for obedience. And a, bl and a and curse. And a curse for disobedience. For disobedience. Right. So right. it's conditional. That's yeah. right. If you do this, I'm going to do that. But if you don't, this is what's going to happen. Mm. Now, we know later on, if we get to read the children of Israel enter that covenant, and, and, and I think... Exodus 19, voluntarily. Mm -hmm. they, they, they accepted Yahweh's proposal. Yeah, right. Yahweh said. And then Yahweh in Exodus 20, he said, okay, you've accepted it. Now here's my covenant. Mm -hmm. And he gave him that in Got Exodus him. 20. Mm -hmm. So you're in now. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I'm your Elohim. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do these things. Mm -hmm. Right? So, but look at what people in history have been. Now, who else has been uh, in a particular place? You say, well, for you. We, we know, you look at other parts of the world where Israel was brought in bondage in the transatlantic slave trade. Mm -hmm. well, well, what about us? We down here. Don't worry, you, you're accounted for. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand, this is the, it, the book says Israel, Judah's going to dwell in what? In the midst of the daughter of Babylon. Mm -hmm. okay. So the house of Judah is all here, but we're here. This is Judah, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But let's see what happens? What verse you want to take Pick it up. But let's kind of keep it to how did we get here to America? To first of all, to say that we're the children of Israel and been here 40 years. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the last verse. Let's just look at what Yahshua, y'all, Moshe wrote these things down. All right. This is, and ask yourself, when did this happen? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uriah, By into Egypt way. again. Mm. So now they've been in Egypt now, right? Mm -hmm. now, now you're right. You said it earlier. Now, at this point, yeah, they just came out of Egypt, right? Basically, they've been in the wilderness for you. Sure. Mm -hmm. They've been in the wilderness. So now they're out. Mm -hmm. So now they got perspective. Right. They say, you, you're going to return again. Again? Again. But Moshe said we would not. We wouldn't. But then, what he, but then he says, By the way whereof I spake unto you, Thou shalt see it no more again, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Mm. Okay. 
Yeah. Now, the children of Israel are going to be, they walked out of Egypt. Yeah. Right? But first, did they leave Egypt on ships the first time? No. Nope. That's the first thing. That's the thing. Yeah, right. They walked out. They didn't go out on the They walked walk in as free men, too. Yeah, they walked in as free men. Okay. That was bond, yeah, bond, 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 wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. That's Good right. Point. We covered that. Yeah. They came in 70 strong, 70 sold, mm -hmm. and became a great nation. They came out with 600,000 men only, right? When Moses came out. He even said, I mean, even to further it, he said they sent a cart. Joseph sent a cart for his father. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said, okay, it don't he work. Said, uh, on the cart. Uh, a royal cart. A royal cart. Not, not, a, not a boat. <laughs> not a boat. <laughs> so, so we noticed that, that there's no. Trans, there's no shipping involved yeah. with the when they came into Egypt, mm -hmm. right? That's At all. So okay, now but you're telling me that they're going into Egypt again with ships. Mm -hmm. And this is the line where people get they don't want to believe, they just can't believe mm -hmm. that we are uh, a sanctified people unto the Most High God Yahweh. But you know, they okay. just can't. Who are we? You know what, Ella, man. I ran into a brother one day, and I said, man, when are you going to stop doing what you're doing and, 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 and walk away up? Or, you know, I said, don't you know that you, you are Israel, you are a Jew? The brother looked at me and said, man, don't lie to me, man. I'm not a Jew. And I said, yes, you are a Jew. He said, man, no, man, you are lying. I just walk away, man. I, you, walk I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to believe. Yeah. Look at because what, what you've been hearing, the yeah. propaganda that, based in the current world, oh, the Jews are blessed and rich. Mm. Y'all are cursed and busted and broke, mm -hmm. and can't get along no matter what. <laughs> among you say, mm. the Jews, the people that we know that are Jews, they they seem to be united, yeah, right. and powerful and rich and wealthy. Smile all the time, you know, yeah. happy, yeah. and they're white, mm. <laughs> and they're white, right. You can't leave. That's the most important thing, and they are white. That's the blessing. <laughs> That's the blessing. Being white. Mm. So it's kind of hard to come to our people. Unless that spirit is on you mm -hmm. to search, yeah, to do right. these things. So they went into slavery. Moshe is prophesying that through Yahweh told him that they're gonna go back into slavery again, bondage again, mm -hmm. go back to Egypt again, go on his ships, and you're gonna be sold unto your friends as slave men and slave women. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's yeah. right. I just threw something at you. It says sold unto your friends. Y'all didn't, <laughs> didn't catch me. I threw it on purpose. Oh, yeah. shit. I don't got no friend yeah. brothers. So. Yeah. No. 68, you're going to be sold unto your enemies. That's right. Right? Yeah, that's right. Now, we just play our fathers kept going back down into Egypt. Yeah. Down when into, we read the story. Later, later on. on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The story, we keep on. It's, it's a place of security. But... But so, it's also what so that word does the word throw them off, you think? Because they see in, into Egypt again, because we know that the, the translators use that word, but Egypt signifies bondage. Yeah, yeah. but so then even there bondage. they can't they won't believe that. Right. I heard a brother I was watching on a, uh, a video and he mm -hmm. was saying they believe that Egypt signifies and he was a Christian cat talking to a uh, a, a European and they were going back and forth about it. they they the Hebrews in general mm -hmm. and they you they think it's a uh, um you know, mean you signifies slavery. Well, go re read Exodus twenty verse one, then yeah, brother. Uh, mm -hmm. Somebody read that Exodus twenty. Mm -hmm. Whoever can get to it, it don't matter. Nick. Okay. But see, I think that I think it talks about that. I mean, so how so can Exodus twenty? Yeah, I think it's Exodus twenty verse yeah. one. Verse two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Read um, one and two. Exodus twenty verse one and two. And Elohim spoke all these words, saying, I am Yahweh the Elohim, which brought thee out, out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. Exactly. Egypt is not. For, for, the, for the context of this discussion, correct. In, in Deuteronomy, 6, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, yes, it's correct. It was the house of bondage. That's right. Yahweh brought our fathers out of the house of bondage, took that yoke from them so they could stand upright, as the book says, like men. Yeah. And they got to be a slave upright. anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be a man. Nobody can't ride you. I was told nobody can't ride you if you're back. You're dead standing up straight. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So we know the transatlantic slavery. We we don't we never go through all these things, but when you look at it, this is the transatlantic slave trade was there was nothing like it in the world. The mm -hmm. Gentiles took it to another level. Mm -hmm. They that Yahweh allowed us to be sold, our fathers be sold to the Europeans, mm -hmm. and they transported us to the New World and around the world. And when you start studying, mm -hmm. 
you understand that that slave trade that from from uh, economically everybody benefited. That's right. Every the whole world. That's how you got capitalism. Mm -hmm. Was because we were the capital. Mm -hmm. We were the engine and the foundation for everything you see today. Mm -hmm. That's why nobody want to talk to you because they want to act like we did it all. Mm -hmm. No, you came and appropriated a people. You appropriated our lands the, the new world, mm -hmm. took those lands. Mm -hmm. you, so you appropriated lands, and then you appropriated the pe a people to, to uh, build that land up. Mm -hmm. And you became incredibly rich. But that was Yahweh's will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so, but what other people fulfills the book to that to the letter? Mm -hmm. So when you see this uh, back up here, um, I want to make sure, just, just take it back down to the, I'm not going to go into all that, but I just want to be able to see the, the top part of the bill. So if people want to go and get it, pull it they can and this commission recognizes so you're you could have just left it there that's fine right there so this commission you're, you're the government of the people that enslaved you that created this government and through through, dope, uh, through other brothers in the congress congressional black caucus and other members they they passed this resolution right, right? and and they created that commission many people don't know in 2019 there were a lot of activities going on. That's what the commission was to oversaw, to mm -hmm. celebrate or to educate people right. about uh, the, 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 the historical presence of us. We've been here since day one, but we're still treated like what? Strangers. Mm. We're still strange until the dominant culture of white people, using that term. Abram said that he was a stranger and a pilgrim on the earth. Exactly. And he said, and it, and, and it says, us, we're going to be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. Mm -hmm. You can't, it's hard, anybody else can come to the country and gather wealth mm -hmm. freely. Mm -hmm. Based on after we, all the things our forefathers did in the civil rights movement, we're the ones, basically our forefathers made this place livable mm -hmm. for everybody. Mm -hmm. But we don't get any uh, benefit of it. And if you read Deuteronomy 28, um, where the curses start, you'll see that this is, this is incredible. That we, who else is it lined up to? Mm -hmm. So that's why you can get, you can hire stuff from our people because men and our people, they know this bill even passed, except for those who are studying. Mm, studying. Mm. Those who are studying. And that's 12, HR 1242. And then in, tw in 2019, we saw all the different things going on. But right after 2019, they, they were killing brothers, several killings of slaves of uh, young black men. And, and, and not so young black men, mm -hmm. our police, everybody, 2019. That's right. And then we begin to say, well, we don't want to take that serious. But what did y'all we do? Mm -hmm. 2020, after that, shut the whole thing down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody shut down. And you can't see young ways get to a point where he's not, this thing is coming to an end. He's not going to allow his people to continue to be abused mm -hmm. and be afflicted. So in the fourth generation, we've been here 40 years. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about centuries. Yahweh said, I'm going to bring them back here. So we're coming back mm -hmm. to the land. Of course. So that's it. Well, he said, well, I, I don't believe it. Well, hey, I, I'm so I'm, what? There's something I don't believe. Yeah. That's what Paul said. I'm just so, part of raising. So that's why we sit here. You know, what about those I believe? You know, mm -hmm. uh, there is still idolatry in the earth. There's still sin in the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Yahweh is a Yahweh has a point in time where it's okay, enough's enough. Right? That's right. And that's when he's gonna declare that the iniquity of the Amorites has been fulfilled. And what was the iniquity of the Amorites? That's idolatry. idolatry. Mm -hmm. That's what we've been taught. That's what I studied. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, and that, I think that's and that's consistent with other readings. Correct. If you look at it, the you, nations are still mad upon Yahweh. They're still mad. And now they become uh, fixated on themselves, mm -hmm. social media. So, so <clears throat> since the 400 years are almost up, I mean, should we just... It's up, but we don't know when we're moving out. I, I can say the 400 years, if we're looking at 1619, right. that, if that's the period we said our father set foot here, that 400 years, but now I can't say what's going to happen after that. But let, let, let me but, say something. Uh, but that, that time period is clocky. But go ahead and finish your... No, because because like um when 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 I came to the truth and I was reading this, you you'll have some people uh, be like, well, the four hundred years is up. There's, I mean, what's what was the point of being ambitious? What's the point of goals? Like, we, we, it's, it's time to go. Let's ask this question oh. first. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, it's time to go. You know, it's like and it's like you don't like 
wait till we get out of here to have children. Wait to get. How do you know? Like it's like we've been enslaved all through our history. None. Mm -hmm. We we've never read like you know what we're just. Wait till we do this when we get here. Like, wait you, till you get to the wilderness. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you have people like, oh, the four hundred years almost up. They, it, it's just like they lost in it. No goals. Like, really, that's that's how it works. Like, we, like, how you know when you leave it? Right. So, when did, did you? Did you have anything to respond to that? You gonna respond to that? You know, Yahweh's timing is totally different from our time. Mm. Our time. When mm. does the four hundred years start? Mm. Right. That's a good question. That's the thing. And the next, you mm. know, just look at it. Even if the 400 years was up, <clears throat> what are the things we're going to use to rule in our country? Mm -hmm. This is our constitution, which we have before us right now. Mm -hmm. We need to know our constitution, mm -hmm. which we call the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think Yahweh is going to accept in a, in a one in, 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 in the land? To define the land? No, it's not going to do that. That's right. So you got to study that stuff for sure? You have to, yes. Study yourself. That's right. We all have to study. Know these laws. Mm. Because that's the only thing going to help us. Mm. Going to spread exactly. us. You understand? In our walk. That's right. In everything. Mm. In our faith. This is what we have to use to help us. But so you, let's educate mm. ourselves. You know, go ahead. My, um, but even with that, like what you're saying, yeah, man, you're 100% right. But some people miss out when you're saying because, yes, you need the law of knowledge. Yes. But you also need that love. With it, the law is love. But some people only, I'm telling you, you know that. Some people only see the knowledge. That's, there's no love in it. Just knowledge. Like, what are you going to gain with that knowledge? Man, knowledge those, those yeah, knowledge fucked up. <laughs> Stiff neck and everything. No, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. It's really not going to work. Yeah. You have to know this law. I'm not saying to know everything, mm -hmm. but at least know the basics. There are basic laws. Mm -hmm. You know, we can go through that again, which can help you and you follow from basic law. To understand no the spirit of the law. Mm -hmm. But but the reason I brought this point, because you have some people that teach you that like the 400 is on it, just forget your ambition, forget thinking positive, forget for reaching goals. Man, just keep on living your life, man. Like you have some people, you know, you you you're not gonna be able to take them cars with you here. They're not like <laughs> right. so basically I should just give up life. What what, what about my children? Should, should, should I also tell mm -hmm. them to give up? That's why you yeah. have to think for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that's uh, but yeah, but this this is a this is the um, oldest, the longest of the captivity mm -hmm. that we're gonna be in. Mm -hmm. And when he was speaking to Israel, he told him, "Look, you know, you might as well go ahead and continue to get married and and um, do because this is gonna be a long captivity." Yeah, so, a very long <laughs> one. You're gonna, yeah, uh, sit tight. Yeah, you might as well sit tight <laughs> because you know. We want to, and I've heard that argument, Brother Mikael. Uh, listen, it is a, nowhere in this book tells you that. Matter of fact, you're not even guaranteed you're going to be in the kingdom. You know, how do you know you're in the Lamb's Book of Life? Well, I'm a Hebrew, and I'm this. I said, well, the Mashiach said there's going to be some of you that are going to be cast out because mm -hmm. you've been out. We don't prophesy in your name, Master. Yeah. Well, all them works. They he did all these works in yeah. your name. He said, "Get away from me." He's gonna say, "Get out and round. Get out." I never yeah. knew you. You worker of iniquity. You mm -hmm. worker of lawlessness. He didn't say not that you messed up or you fell along the way. He said, "I never, never knew, knew you. you. Never existed. Never knew. I never knew you. That's deep. you were not. Uh, you're not counted. So you deceived yourself. So you deceived yourself. And so and those are some of the things we got to look at. As long as we're here, we got to run. The Paul said, "You got to run the good race okay. to the end, to the very end." That's what he said. What do you think you're going to run and just bring your drunk, confused self? Before, uh, uh, what, what, how can you, I mean, I say drunk, just drunk in the mind. Yeah, not sober-minded. Sober-minded. Right. Not even sober-minded. Because sober-minded don't necessarily mean drinking all that. So, man, you ain't got your thoughts together. Like, right. you, you're going to you're mad, man. So, but, and that means you're unstable in all your ways. You know, mind your mind is unstable. Yeah, so, right. you got to put your mind on who you follow. If you're following the Mashiach, mm -hmm. like you said, right. you're good. He's going to stabilize your mind. That's right. But if you're following, if I'm following Uriah, Uriah can say something throw me off. Mm -hmm. Or he can do something that's, that's man. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm following you. I'm not following you. We are believers. And that's what Yahweh's brought us together here. Yeah. Under the keepers of the house of life. Mm -hmm. Like he's brought other people together for this purpose. Mm -hmm. We're just a, a small group. Yeah. But where we say with two or three guys in my name, mm, I'm there in the midst. Yeah. So yeah, you really have to um, figure out this. Uh, 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 we've got to continue to do the work. 
until it's about his life. Yeah. There's no time to slack. Yeah. You can't get no rest. Now, if you don't get out here and work and take care of your family and you're playing around, well, I don't want to work. Well, you know what? You ain't go you shouldn't eat. Mm -hmm. You're worse than an infidel, ain't you? You're worse than an infidel. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand that mm -hmm. rationale. Yeah, like just it's it's just I, like I'm not trying to aim. Yeah, I don't yeah. want a house. I don't lazy. want to buy a house for my family. It takes so much to work. What? Well, that's my point. You get to that point. Well, I don't want to do this, and yeah, I, why, why should we? Well, why should you have a family? <laughs> and some men don't want to do that. There's right. the reason why some I don't want a wife. It's the reason why some uh, Yahweh haven't given some men a wife or a family. There's right. a reason for that. They, you know, you, and they think it's them, but selfishness, mm -hmm. that means just like this word. When you find out you're Israel, we're telling you this, you have to abstain and sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. Something. Mm -hmm. Yahshua said, you, if you save your, if you lose your life, for my mm -hmm. sake, you're going to gain it back. I'm, I'm gonna, you're going to get a life. Because he got the power to give you, like, raise you up. Salvation without sacrifice is not written in Scripture. Mm -hmm. It's not. <laughs> not you got to sacrifice something. Yeah. Yeah. Even Abram sacrificed a tenth of his spoil. Mm -hmm. He just went over there to Melchizedek because mm -hmm. he recognized one that was, in his eyes, greater than him. He was a priest of Yah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's also, it's, 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 what, what, what is it, what greater thing than to lay your life for your brother or something like that? Yeah. Okay. It, it just, but it goes back to what you said, like, whoever loses his life for me, like, you're losing your life for the Mashiach, because that's what the Mashiach would do. Right. So the Mashiach did that for him. He did that for him. Yeah. Like, You're not going to tap dance into the kingdom. No. And yeah. they, like I can say, they, we mentioned going into the wilderness and all these. That's fine. But the book, it also says, they're going to bring you there. You don't made it from Decatur, Georgia, uh, Mobile, Alabama, hmm. Kansas City, hmm. Jamaica, Trinidad, hmm. made it to the wilderness, just to be purged out because you are a rebel mm. and a what? He said, I'm going to purge out the rebels and the transgressors. So, but, but Yahweh keep his word. I'm going to bring the seed of Israel from everywhere that I got to bring from. Yep. I'm not going to leave him nowhere, but he kept his word. But you may not be in the book. You may be that very same guy when, the, when you begin to see these things manifesting. I don't believe it. I'm going to still do this. I'm still going to eat that. I'm still going to I'm gonna sleep with women, right? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do anything I want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, but you shall not go into yeah. come into Israel, and and they shall know that I'm Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That's up in Ezekiel 36, I think, somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna so so yeah, I made it to the wilderness, and you got purged out. And the next time you come again, it's gonna be in the lake of fire mm -hmm. for judgment. Mm -hmm. But see, just that, that, you see, you see what I'm saying. So just, you gotta be straight all the way. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about that, and then um, I was meditating on something about. We talk about getting to the wilderness. Let, let's let's take things in stages. Let's be let's, exactly. be let's be let's be real with us because some of the things that I see take place in some 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 some, some congregations. I, so we're gonna be doing that in the wilderness? Are you kidding me? Mm. Like seriously, that's yeah. what we're gonna. That's you what think, y'all are gonna bring us about here to, to go carry on with this same foolishness. Exactly. Really? Right. He did that one time. He let the, our fathers, when, when and Moshe went up to uh, Mount Sinai for 40 days and 40 nights, mm -hmm. what'd they do? Mm. what do they do? I'm not even going right. to. what they do? Right. They, they caused the problem. Yeah, they they, so you're going to go back. Now he's going to be doing it all over again. Right. And they're going to do it again, but he's going to make quick work with you this time. See, we're doing it with no hands. We know. Man, we out here. I can, I can beat me. Some of them talk. What you going to do? I heard you're going to have women. They got that mind. They're going to be abusing the women. Whip them up. Beat them up. Oh, really? In the king? Yeah. That's in, really in the, 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 the That's wilderness. wilderness. That's in wilderness. the wilderness. In the king. They're going to be running. I say, you know what? I don't have a kingdom to put you in or to keep you out of. Mm -hmm. But I will have a, I got enough understanding to know if the Mashiach in the kingdom of heaven, if, if, if God, for our purposes, is on the throne, king, mm -hmm. I just can't see <laughs> ruling of earth that with that kind of environment, mm -hmm. no, man. That mindset. That, you, that ain't going to function. That, that, That's that, a negative that, mindset. That, 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 work. Remember, when he appearing, all of us are going to be changed. Yeah. Right? Right. So we're not going to have that mindset anymore. We're not going to be thinking mm -hmm. on certain things anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna, yeah, we're not going to do Unless that. Unless you again. tear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. you sin willfully. Because yeah. you can break the law. You can do now if you it's one That's thing true. to sin, it's another to do, make an error. Yeah. But to do something, we know uh fornicate, lying, killing. 
premeditated. Yeah, you never be in the kitchen. You, you're, yeah. you're, you're gonna get purged. It, out. Yeah, it, it, it's gonna you know, go yeah. back to that's, uh, that's what we're up all. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but that's what we wanted to do. We we needed to cover this 400 year, and we're gonna go more into a class about that. We can go into a lot of things, but but Yahweh is shown. Let's get back to the read. What uh, let me see. Uh, where's my where's my clock? What time? Uh, it was two. We passed two actually. Okay. Almost two and a half. Okay. And no, about two, not two. But um, we still we, we we still have to negate the fifteen years. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's we're at two. We're at two. All right. Let's let, okay. finish okay. the chapter. Let's, let's finish the chapter. Yeah. Let's finish. Okay. We're um we're back in there uh, in the book of Genesis, uh, Genesis chapter fifteen. We're gonna pick it up at verse seventeen. And it came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark. Behold, a smoking uh, furnace and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces. Mm. In okay. the same day, Yahweh made a covenant with Abraham. He did make that covenant. Right. Yeah, saying, yeah. Unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates, the Kenites and the Kenazites and the Kadmonites. And the Hittite and the Perizzite and the Reference and and the um, uh, and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Gergesites and the Jebusites. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, let's keep on. Let's keep. I want to just let's start in sixteen. Sixteen. And uh, let's, uh, <coughs> brother uh, Obi, you want to go? Uh, <coughs> okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go. Genesis chapter sixteen, verse one. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bare him no children, and she had a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold now, Yahweh has restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. Mm. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife. And he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. Mm. And Sarai said unto Abram, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. Yahweh judge between me and thee. But Abram said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. And the angel of Yahweh found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarai's, hand, Sarai's maid, whence cometh thou, and whither wilt thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress, Sarai. And the angel of Yahweh said unto her, Return to thy mistress, and submit thyself under her hands. And the angel of Yahweh said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. Mm -hmm. And the angel of Yahweh said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, mm -hmm. because Yahweh has heard thy affliction. And he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And she called the name of and she called the name of Yahweh, that spake unto her, Thou Elohim seest me. For she said, Have I also here looked after him that seeth me? Wherefore the well was called Beer Leheroma Lehero. Behold, it is between Kadesh and Bered. And Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael. Mm -hmm. And Abram was fourscore and six years old, or eighty-six years old, when eight when Hagar bare Ishmael mm -hmm. to Abram. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's that's interesting mm -hmm. uh, history. That's, I mean, it's very inter it's, I say interesting. And, and I just say, it seems when you look at, let's let's look at what Father Abram, Abraham hmm. is doing. When we talk about the fleshly mindset that we have today. Mm -hmm. Now, 
Abram, his handmaid, Hagar, was, uh, she was one of the people, one of the, the Egyptians that he got uh, by Pharaoh, right? Mm -hmm. Right. When they got out of town, so you can, those number of people. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you a question. Why Abraham had only one wife? Can we agree to that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, that's, that's, I know where you're going with it. Go you ahead. Know you're right. right. Okay. You're right. Go ahead, man. Abraham had one wife. Yeah, mm -hmm. we say. Yeah. Okay. And we know Abraham had a great house. Yeah, yeah, always he said that. Mm -hmm. Children born. He had 300 troops ready to go get to go the train. train born in his house mm -hmm. under his authority. That's right. And she gave her, she meaning uh, Sarai, mm -hmm. gave her. His handmaid. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just be. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it plain. Some of the cats that I have talked to and will be here today, even among us, Abel had all kind of children. Mm -hmm. If he, if he was in this era, mm -hmm. he would not just have not 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 only Ishmael, he would have twenty other children. Are you saying he would have been, that Abram would have been a rolling stone? Well, no, <laughs> he would have been a rolling stone. No, no, he, I don't think he would have Papa been. Papa was a rolling stone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you yeah. compare what our minds are today, right. well, why doesn't Abram have all these illegitimate yeah. children? Why doesn't Abram have a whole, why is he he visiting the, the old slave plantation like the slave masters did? Mm. What's going on? Mm. Matter of fact, Interesting. when you see something is missing, this is a holy, this man is a righteous man. Something ain't. We know is everything put in the book? No. No. But no, he, he's right because when, when he came down to that brother believed what Yahweh told him. That's right. He walked in faith. And he didn't pollute his seed. He didn't spread his seed. Right? That's right. He was dealing with Sarah, Sarah the whole time. Mm. She's an old woman. I'm old. But come out of you, she's gonna, you're gonna have a son come out your own bowels. It wasn't until, remember last week when I mentioned, you got to look at this story a little bit different. Remember mm -hmm. I said that last week? Mm -hmm. um, the, both of them were trying to bring about this prophecy, of this promise. When they say that Abram prostitute is uh, Sarah, says, tell him you're my wife, and so I live. But at that point, there was nothing mentioned about Sarai. The promise was just in him. In his mind, hey, they killed me. I can't mm -hmm. bring forth the promise. Mm -hmm. At that time. At that time. At that time. Mm -hmm. Later on, he's going to establish what? the covenant. He's going to he's going to specify they that Sarai. child is going to be established. Exactly, right? my brother. Yeah. 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 Look at it this way. Um, we say, Ryan, mm -hmm. doing that, want to give, you know, give up, not really to give up that union between Abraham and herself, I mean that that's unselfish. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so she will die, you know, or at least try to save her husband. Right. That's how much love. Yeah, we saw the love in her heart. Yeah, he saw that he had a seed. Right. Oh bingo. That's right. And that's, that's what, what I was telling you. I mentioned that last yeah. week. Yeah. That yeah. they were together. You said, well, well, how does she be involved in that? Well, they're together. You talk to your wife, your wife tells you, you tell, hey, I heard a voice. El should die. Hmm. Spoke to me and told me that this, this, and this. Mm. She said he crazy. She said, You crazy, man. I'm, I'm, crazy. Crazy. I'm staying here in Earth. You know, in the Chaldees. I'm staying here. They packed up everything and they did what Yahweh told him to do. Right? Yeah. That's, a, that's an excellent point that you made, the she, yeah. she was trying to make certain. The problem like, she's like, I'm, I'm an old woman. Yeah. Yeah, go, have, take my hand, man. Well, still beautiful. Still beautiful. Still beautiful. Still beautiful. Oh yeah, she was, she was, she was a knockoff. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's the, that's the point. Yes, that's the point. Yes, you're right. And that's the point. We try to. You have to look at things. You got to spin it around and look at it. Mm -hmm. She's trying to. They're both with until Yahweh manifests everything. That they don't know, just like we don't know. Right. Yahweh don't tell us everything He's going to do. About us in regards to us. So she wasn't trying to manipulate the situation. No, no. So, well, I, she was, I'm, I'm in control. Right. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because because now we know they both at some point they both come into the understanding. Yeah. You're going to be the yeah. vessel, but but it's not going to happen until 
later on we read the name is changed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. in, in chapter 16. Mm -hmm. But for the purpose of time, I want to, um, yeah. I'm going to pause the class, but I want to focus on about this man, Abram, Abraham, Father Abraham. Mm -hmm. And let's, uh, uh, Hebrews 11. Mm -hmm. I think we have to go there because to show you how Paul, because they knew that they're in the history. They're they're in the book. They they're they living in contemporaneous. Uh, they're in the land. They know who they are. Mm -hmm. So let's. Go. I want to make sure, Father Abraham, that we show you that this this the, the chapter eleven of Hebrews is basically the, the hall of fame mm -hmm. of, of faith. But that but that's fine. They can call it what they want to call. It. But we we've been studying and reading about Abel. This is a man of character and integrity. That's right. You can't take that from him. Mm -hmm. That's who he is. So that's why I said that about why, does, why, why is he fornicating everywhere? Mm. Why is he doing all this stuff? Right. He was a friend of Yahweh. He was a friend of Yahweh. Mm. And we know Yahweh wouldn't tolerate him to do all that. And then he didn't abuse his power because he could have done that. I mean, he had riches. He didn't that's, abuse his power. That's my point. Like, like you put, let's be honest, you, you put a certain vessel in that we don't, we, Man, I, I can't even say what I would do what I wouldn't do. Mm. We wouldn't be here today. If we, some of us, was, if Yahweh chose us to go that's back in time, we don't fell off the wagon off the top. That's real. You know, well, well, we do have a story of one man, like David. David had that power, mm -hmm. and he committed them two sins. But the difference with David, look how he accepted responsibility for what he did. That's, that's, right. that's a good point. And, and he exactly. was broken hearted. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Some another king would have been proud, like who, who, Nathan, who, 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 you, you to talk to me? Who, who you? Go, go on the way, man. I'm here all that. See, I'm David was a leader. Hmm. See, okay. See, so there's different. Like we we had a lot of kings, but how many of them gonna be saved or raised up? Right. See, David was a leader. Yeah. He was. It said David was a man after Yahweh's yeah. own heart. heart. See, and Abraham is Yahweh's friend. See, yeah. so we see the same characteristics. Exactly. And and David loved the people. Yeah, exactly. He loved Yahweh's people. Hmm. So look at the son that was um created um that that was born because of adultery. He still cried over that son. You 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 have some people that have no fear to be like, well, it was Yah's will. Really? That's so so saying. so you can say Yah's will. You have no. You don't care. Nah, you just. It's good you don't have children. Right. Mm -hmm. But the book says, what manner of spirit you Yahshua looked at when they came out of that city and they didn't recognize Yahshua. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to study these things, but uh, one of the disciples, not the 12, but one of them, he had other followers. That's right. He said, Master, should we pray? Uh, they rain down uh, fire on them. Right. And Yahshua had to rebuke him and say, do you know what, do you know, do you know not what manner of spirit mm -hmm. is on you? That's the right. son of man was not, was sent to save life, not to destroy. Right. See, our folks get it twisted. They got that. They got a spirit on. They got yeah. a different mindset. Because because even if, how they approach our people, like you hear some people, they their their demeanor, their character, characteristic, their their mindset. They talk like the prophets. The prophets was one of the people that was making us like that knew better. Not on the lost sheep. People don't catch that, right? You know. So when the Mashiach, you you could have seen like we were talking the other day, man. Man, you could just imagine how the Mashiach would move. It, it was just encouragement. He he. Like, like, look where he hanged out. He, he didn't come up there to bash the people. He came to encourage the people. He came to bash the people that was bashing people that's, that, that should be encouraged. Ooh, exactly. Why are you doing these yeah, things? Yeah, yeah. You should know better. You should know better. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's let's go ahead and do a little bit of, uh, of uh, yeah, and, and tell you what. It talks about faith, but um, let's, let's, it, uh, from. Eight to what? Uh, yeah, let, let's start at eight, because before they talk about Noah and Enoch. I think it's eight, you know, eight to and, and Abel. So let's go there. Let's go to verse eight. Hebrews chapter 11, mm -hmm. uh, verse 8, begin there. And this is about the faith of Abraham, Abraham and uh, and even Sarah. You want me to pick it up? Yeah, let's pick it up 8. No, right, uh, right. oh, you're going to get it. I'm sorry. Verse 8, Hebrews chapter who 11, verse 8. It? Okay. Who had it? Nick? Oh, I think it, wait, who was left there? Right, who was that? All right, let's keep on going. Verse 8. Let's keep moving. By <laughs> faith, <laughs> Abraham, <laughs> when he was called to go out into a place, which he should have, which he should have to receive for an inheritance, obeyed and went out, not knowing whither he went. That's mm -hmm. it. That's one. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise God. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Esau and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is Elohim. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, 
and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. We were talking about that. Earlier. That's right. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. Praise God. Praise God. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, that they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is, an heavenly. Wherefore, Elohim is not ashamed to be called their Elohim. Praise God. Thank you. For he has prepared for them a city. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Esau, and that and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, that in Esau shall thy seed be called, accounting that Elohim was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So we see that uh, Saul mm -hmm. is showing you that our father, Father Abraham, was a man of great faith, mm -hmm. being told to leave, all those things. His wife, she, that's why, why do you think Yahweh uh, honored Sarai and gave her name Sarah? That's right. Mm -hmm. Come on. We got to start thinking about things. Why do you think, and, and, and say that she's going to be a mother of nations and kings? That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. You understand? That was a great honor. That's yeah. a great honor. So he honored so yeah, yeah, honor Abraham and mother Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you yeah. always saw what, what, what was in our heart. Right. And so then we yeah, sit here. Man, so th I think that's the thing that we didn't get as far as we thought we would get today. Cool. But 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 you know what? We we praise Yahweh uh, mm -hmm. for allowing us to complete uh, chapter 16. I mean, a chapter of uh, part of. Uh, uh, what do we finish here? We stop that. Stop. We finish sixteen. We finish sixteen. Yes, Praise God with the birth of Ishmael, mm -hmm. and um, so for the purposes of the class, uh, the, the Sabbath class discussion, I think we're going to end it right here. And as we normally do, um, any close that we we got a lot of time. I think we got some book and time left. But I just want anyone, any of the brothers, have anything? Any comments, Mikael? Yeah, 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 what I get from faith is an action, it's obedient. You know what I'm saying? Because you have people like, you know, we know what's going on, whether it's how you, how can I say this? However you decide to handle this pandemic, that's your business. That has nothing to do with faith. You know what I'm saying? Faith is an action, like, like, like me and Obi was talking, like if I want to be the best basketball player in the world, my works, the way I train is going to show my faith. Right. But you have people prey on people's fear, you know, or, or people's decision to do what they want to do. Like, it's just, yeah, that's that's the only thing. Like, people need to understand what faith is. So if you believe what the Mashiach came to do, what the Mashiach said, what, what, what Yahweh Karat, what Yahweh require of us, mm -hmm. you would show your faith by your works. And, and, and not those sacrifices that, 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 that people just, okay, I won't change. But you know what? I'll I'll, I'll do this. I'll, I'll do my works because people have told us oh, a balance. Yes. So yeah, so yeah. so when you tell people, come on, man, we know this is gang. This is like you can't outslip Yahweh. You can't. So when you tell people, oh, it's a balance, you put it in the frame because I've seen this before. I like that. You. So that's how that worked. Like I heard nobody heard my brother say a prayer, and I caught it. He said, "Oh, I pray that you bless the hands of my works." Because Yahweh's will is going to be done. You know what I'm saying? But will your works be accounted for you? Because it's about the heart. Yahweh, 
There's no way of written where you can have a hard heart and Yahweh is going to accept whatever sacrifice you get. There, his will is going to be done. Right. So, those things will be judged. Yeah. You can put on that fire. It's going to, it's going but, to stand. But just like, works. You, just like you was reading, um, it says, um, when the Mashiach said, depart from me, I never knew. Like, they, like when you read, they, they put all they stock in the works. Haven't we done works? You you have some people like that. One ain't going to change a bit, but they got some works. Let me get my works. Man, there's game. That don't work like that. Like, like it's, there, there's no love in it. Mm -hmm. There's no love. It's, it's, it's like no, no different than our forefathers. Right. Oh, oh shit, I got sacrifices. Man, you, you know what? I, I, like, it's just so silly because we know certain the law, the judgment is death. But what, what are the works about? You tell you works. But Yahshua was talking about the vineyard going ahead and reaching the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. That's good that you mop the floor. <laughs> right. But what's the first order of business? Right, let's reach these lost sheep. Right. What are you doing? Now, you, now when the sheep, when the sheep uh -huh. come, we're doing work, but you chase away the sheep. Yeah. Right. Well, how was Yahweh pleased with that? The angels rejoice when one get them wet and get them out the door. Right. So, so at the end of the day, brother, you know we have to, we gotta have common sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yahweh give them a spirit of understanding. All you're getting is what understanding. Mm -hmm. So, you have to, you know, I think that's that faith that, that the faith is the substance of things hoped for. Mm -hmm. It's like the key word you said, understanding. Right. Like when we see the lost sheep, we have to understand like where they are at. Right. You gotta have common like you can't like like even me, I'm careful on conversation. Now, cause cause it's like, man, you it, it seems like like if you if you know better, you don't do better. It seems like you're picking on it. So you have like certain times I don't get by like names I, I already know. I stay I'll away from you, the names. I'll give, you a, I'll give you a point. Take some point. And uh, I, I got a phone call from a neighbor and uh they Joe witnesses, but they were they got my number because they, I guess they got the number of people in their, their in the in their region. They're just making cold calls. Right. And I talked to the lady, and uh, she said, yeah, I'm one of your neighbors. And I'm saying, she didn't know. I know her. And mm -hmm. she knows me. And uh, so she read our first Timothy. And I looked, we talked. And I, I let her do it. Yeah. I said, she got, I said, I've always got time to talk about the most high. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And we just talked. And then this morning, her, he, my, my neighbor, I didn't say his name, he called me. He said, hey, such and such. Uh, I'm, I'm your neighbor upstairs. I said, oh, yeah. Hey, that was my mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. You know, she called you. I said, yeah. That's what, yeah, and we do our things. And we, I said, that number, that's brother, that's, that's brother such and such. You know what I mean? Right. And I was like, wow. So, say my number, man. So, I'm not going to get at, but that's maturity. Yeah. Once upon yeah. a time, I get in those battles with yeah. the general witnesses. I get in the battles with other people. I'm not here to battle. I'm going to be like Paul. Let me just, let me listen. Be quick to what? Why listen. we got two ears? Listen. Hmm. What is it? Shema. Shema. Hero is real. That's the first commandment, matter yes. of fact. Yeah, Hero is real. You don't even say read or you say hear. hear. Because they weren't walking with the parchment. But see, I see that. They didn't have the scrolls, only the priests had that. So I what see the that. common people? They have to hear. I see that differently. You were tested. Mm -hmm. Because the gentleman you're talking about, he knows you for a good. Now, if you'd have went on there on a bashing scheme, you know, like, mm -hmm. you see something because you didn't know there was. That that was a test. You you showed your true character. You stayed the same. Like if you would have been like, really, he did that. I, I've been knowing. See, that's why you have to walk this walk straight. That's right. Because exactly. they're watching. They're not listening. Yeah, exactly. They're not mad. They 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 you know what I mean? Man. But then when they hear it, they're observing and they want to see. Well, like, are you going to walk? Yeah. Or walk? That was that's a test. It. Yeah. That, yeah. Praise God. Because it. Uh, you go on Facebook and YouTube. Oh, that's they doing. Yeah. 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 Right. He's yeah. the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> I called. I I talked to him cold. He was yeah. like. Easily intreatable, uh, you listen. But uh, praise God, man. Uh, uh, you know, uh, any, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna oh, no, make sure. No, uh, Uriah, anybody else have any uh, thing to say? I think, you know, I, all I have to say is that, you know, uh, I, I can't um, stop saying, you know, and uh, I thank Yahweh. You we want to see you, you want to see you. We want to get a good photo. Let me put that out. You want to get a good photo? <laughs> <laughs> That's face recognition. You're trying to make sure you get a good face recognition. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Yeah. The facial recognition. All of us want to say, I was thank you all the time. Who you are you? No, no, man. No, no. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Oh no, no, man. I, you know, I can't stop thanking you. <laughs> thank, thank you, y'all. What are you doing to my pocket, man? <laughs> yeah, on the Sabbath? Yeah. On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath. In front of y'all. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. But go ahead, brother. Yeah, but I can't stop thanking y'all for each and every day that, you know, he has given his body, you know, um, to do the work. You know, not to glorify ourselves, no, but to, you know, to glorify him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's all I have to say, man. 
beautiful clouds, you know, you know, on beautiful. Where is the beautiful? We are, we are the saints of the Most High, man. Praise well, thank Yahweh for that. Praise Praise okay. Hallelujah. Uh, Brother Obi, not yet. Uh, the um, I think it was a beautiful class. Uh, uh, I, 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 I enjoyed the message, and um, the only thing I wanted to read is uh, James. What did you have that last? <laughs> We're gonna get the last word. Hey, hey you know Hobie already. Hobie, he has to go back and yeah, do it. Don't try to contain that spirit. I ain't gonna let him hold. I'm, I'm not gonna do a follow up neither. This is gonna be the last. I'm gonna this 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 stand for the. You ain't gonna try to talk it. No, I ain't gonna talk it. Now praise God. Okay, you can't talk about the most high. All of he wrote is all of it's him. Yeah, praise God. It, it, it was just uh, it was two things that I, okay. that I received. When we were speaking earlier about faith, mm -hmm. and we when we were speaking about um, not speaking our own words, when we were oh, in Isaiah fifty-eight, yeah, Isaiah fifty-eight. Yes. So I had two places that I received, right? Mm -hmm. I just want I'm gonna read the first one. It, it was in Second Peter, okay. chapter uh, two. Okay. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back to uh, James. To James. Okay. It, it was just it was just one verse. Okay. Um, Second Peter chapter one verse twenty. Well, two okay. verses twenty and twenty-one. It said, knowing that first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any so, private what, what, what are you hearing? I'm sorry. What you got? Um, Second Peter chapter 1. Oh, chapter 1. I apologize. I started. Verse 20 and 21. Okay, I went to 2. Go ahead. Yes, sir. It says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but mm -hmm. holy men okay. of Elohim spake right. as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Right, so like you said, don't speak in your own words. You know, we, we, they, they, the men were moved to write these things down. They didn't just come exactly. Up. They weren't freestyling. They weren't. Yeah. They, oh, they weren't freestyling the mic. They wasn't freestyling the mic. They so they was moved they, by the emotions either, right? Their emotions did not move. They were moved by the spirit. spirit. That's, that's emotion. Okay, that's one that's 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 point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, Joe going down to James, right? Mm -hmm. James chapter one, mm -hmm. and then we can just start it at verse one through eight. It said, James, a servant of Elohim, and of the, of the Adonai, Yahshua HaMashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, mm -hmm. greetings. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Mm -hmm. But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Elohim, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not. And it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, not nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Adonai. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Praise God, but that's man. profound, man. Yeah. That's profound. Praise we have that mind stayed on Yahweh. Praise well. Uh, I guess we've come. I don't want the Sabbath class discussion to end. I know it's so peaceful. We're not used yeah, to this type yeah, of peace. Yeah, man, I, I want to keep moving. And, and that's what it should be. Peace. Yeah, that's what it should be. And restful. That's what was written, though. You know, that's what yeah. it means. Yeah, peace on the Sabbath. Peace, peace, peace. Oh, on the Sabbath. It's supposed to be peace. Peace on the Sabbath. But uh, I'm thankful to be here with all of you brothers and, and echoing what uh, Elder uh, Uriah stated uh, that Yahweh has given us um, this ministry. Uh, to go out in the vineyards to to work, not for ourselves, but to, mm. so we can reach those people need to hear this word. Mm -hmm. and it feels good, yeah, and it feels good. It so feels good. I'm very, I'm very thankful. Uh, uh, yeah, his brother, yeah. his brother, he, he and I talk and go back and forth a lot. <laughs> but 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 the, but that's good. Yeah, right. That's yeah. somebody you need someone to keep right. you honest. Yeah, yeah. You need brothers to keep you honest. You need yeah. somebody to tell you, hey, you, no, you're not right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody to hold you accountable. Hold you accountable. Right. Yeah. And so one of those things is, but that's love, right? That's, that's, that's love. love. Yes. But you know, and that's the thing we we, you know, we, we, we look at. Mm -hmm. We have to go out. It's not about me anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not about me. It's not about you, right? It's not about you, Mikael. It's not about Obadiah. Mm -hmm. It's about getting doing the will of Yahweh. Feed my people. Okay. And we put you in this position just to just do this simple thing that we're doing. Okay. It might seem simple, but the Spirit had to coordinate this. Mm -hmm. You know, we couldn't have done it if we wanted to do it. Yeah. We've got too many different things, but praise y'all for it. But again, I'm going to give you guys a, a little praise dab. It's an honor for us to be able to serve the people and serve y'all. So to make it happen, it's an honor. Welcome honor. back, man. Welcome back. And, praise y'all, brother. Praise y'all. Welcome back, man. Yeah. Yeah. Praise y'all. Praise y'all. Yeah. 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 Uh, but again, we, uh, we, we thank you all for 
tuning in with the keepers of the house of light um, on this beautiful Sabbath day. And we wish, I pray that you can uh, you, you enjoy your Sabbath and continue to rest in, in the Most High Yahweh. Um, and, and if Yahweh wills, we'll be back here next Sabbath. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm sorry. And, and before we do that, so one of you brothers might want to let them know how they can watch us on different platforms. Or, oh yeah, uh, you know they can reach us. You can you can check us out on YouTube. We're up and live now on YouTube again. We're live on Twitch and we're live on Facebook. And you can also find us on Instagram and you can also find us on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So look up the same name, Keepers of the House of Light. Keepers of the House of Light, and you'll be able to find us, follow all of our our links. And we have a website coming soon. Yeah, very soon. And brother, and we're gonna have some more things going on. Uh, I, I, we're gonna mention some for the podcast, uh, brother Mikael. You want to talk about that? Just let me know about that. Or well, yeah, yeah, the podcast is um, coming soon. Yeah, y'all just hold tight for it. Just podcast is just basically just the show is just kind of just just kicking it, but still, you know, keeping that arm on us. Like it's nothing. I mean, we're not doing anything differently than we would do if the camera's on, but just showing. Give it more perspective to life, talking about real issues, but still using this as a foundation, but just more laughter. And then you you, you all gravitate to our personalities, to the things in. But we, we'll, we'll talk about some real issues. We'll laugh. We'll talk says, but, but the podcast is more like a, it's not laid back, but it's, we won't have the book in front of us. You, you know, we'll, 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 we'll be open. We'll be transparent. We'll talk with a joke. So, so it's just more of a, you know, it, you know, to take a break from this, but still, let's apply what we got, you know, in everyday life. And conversation, just talk, right? Yeah, conversation, exactly. you know, like, 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 like you said. Uh, well, what was it that, like? If, if um, who listen to if um, if black people, black people shouldn't come together unless they have some talk. Constructive, constructive. Yeah, something yeah. constructive. Const constructive, because you know, anything. Because yeah. they might get together and it's a riot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. somebody gets shot. I hate yeah. to say it like that. Yeah. But you come, we see it so much. They come together socially. Mm -hmm. To just have fun, mm -hmm. and be joyful, uh, jubilant, and someone end up losing their life. Mm -hmm. But we also, but praise y'all for that. And we also have a uh, new moon. That's right. Yeah. Tell us about that. When is that, brother? <laughs> Tell us about that. Yeah, so yeah. About moon. <laughs> Who's gonna be teaching that new moon? Well, well, we got a new moon that's coming up um, Monday night. Um, but that's January. January. January thirty first. Okay. Please and try. for some reason they got me teaching the new moon. <laughs> um, please, so please, no, 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 we. It's been against my will. So I have nothing you know, to do with it, man. It, 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 it was y'all's, but um, praise y'all because um, you know I've been working on this. Uh, I mean, the the writing process is interesting. I I learned a lot about myself because if you give me a title to write, I can write. It. But if you tell me what I want to write about, that's it's like like how do you pinpoint? You know what I'm saying? But I, I it's just more so what, what what the spirit brought to me is like. Can you name one thing that has been accomplished with a negative mindset? Wow! Can, wow. can you name anything? Wow! Can anything be done with a negative mind? Can any? No, you can't. That's you know, that's you know. So class. so so our people, and I see it. Matter of fact. At the gym, um, you know, I've been away at the gym because I've been sick. I got the new whatever's going around. You know, um, so I met the, um, she's like probably 60 something, 60 something, and she's in shape. Mm -hmm. She is in shape. Forget the appearance. That takes dedication. You you, you don't just take a pill for that. And, and then I seen her, she, she just so she tried to get my, took, took my headphones up. Said, and, and this is what I mean by love. I she I don't know her name, she don't know my name. She seen me every time. It, it's, it's always that good spirit. And, and she's like, I haven't seen you in a minute. You okay? Like you have people you know that wouldn't do that, and and, and I would say yeah things I'm at man I got the new whatever it is hey I, I got this and hopefully I don't get in there and then she like man and then that's like people don't understand that's that's what I mean by a positive mindset yeah right. you don't know how how far like first of all leave folks alone you don't know what folks going through you know because everybody's going through something so. Mm -hmm. If, if you come with love, like you don't just, you know, it's just more encouraged positive. Mm -hmm. Nothing can be accomplished. Nothing, nothing Yahweh tells you in this book is going to be accomplished with a negative mindset. Man, see, see, you need to hold all the information for the move, man. See, we, <laughs> we already know. Uh, we already know this is going to be a, a powerful oh, oh, new move. Oh, 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 on January 31st, Sunday, on the evening. <laughs> January 31st. No, and uh, get please, your hopes up. Just please listen. come on out and, uh, yeah. and join us. 
But I think we have covered what we need to cover. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, at well, this point. Let, let me say one more thing. Like, okay, now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one more. Watch it. Hey, not this is one more. He done left his lift up his fist. I no, um, <laughs> like, and, and cause I was meditating, and um, like, you know, cause I meditated, and I was like, um, and I was telling myself, I'm not a teacher, and what I mean by that is that even with like with my new moon, I'm gonna give my perspective, and you know what I stand on. It's just a different way of, of doing. I, because, I have the spirit move. Yeah, yeah, I have the spirit move because when you hear a teacher like. You ain't gonna be able to use my name. Like, hey, he told me, like, you are, like, when I mean, like, it's giving different perspective. Because everybody know You just have to bring it to a way they understand, like, you know. But it's more for the lost sheep, man. Because love and positive mindset, we do need that in our people. No, man, that's what Yahweh's, yeah. obviously, Yahweh's put that on your heart. Mm -hmm. And to do that, mm -hmm. and we, we can't resist the spirit. No, you can't. So yeah. You just can't, can't resist it. You can't resist it. You can't contain it. Can't, no, you can't resist it. Mm -hmm. Yahweh wants you to do something. It's gonna be done. Yeah. You can do it the what? Easy way? Or the hard way. Or the hard way. Yeah, throwing in the well, throwing throw exactly. the big fish. Exactly. <laughs> I think knowing what I know now, I, I hope Yahweh give me a, a mind to do things the easy way. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. My, my, my brother, he was getting on me yesterday, but that's another story that's, about a topic. Yeah. But praise Yah. But that's what you need to hear. You may not react right then, but Yahweh let you sit back and reflect on it and meditate on it. That's right. But uh with, if, if everybody's okay, uh we're going to go ahead and end uh, this Sabbath uh, service class discussion. Uh, it already ended, but we just wanted to wrap up the, uh, uh, the discussion. And hopefully you guys, will, um, you, you will tune in next week, next Sabbath. And um, so we can hopefully edify each other and you also will be edified. Uh, with that said, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat.